Before we get started, uh, since so many have not seen the trunks that are also mighty, I thought that now would be a phenomenal time to briefly go over what has happened in sort of plain language right before I do like an intro intro. Um, four years ago, four and a half years ago, uh, we need to take a break from our main campaigns, and I had very, very little time to put together a four arc. Uh, Don't sorry. admit that. <laughs> I, I'm gonna admit it, so people watching don't judge me. As it hard. was a dark time, <laughs> uh, and I so to just just own four weeks of stream, and so I thought, why not do a Mighty Ducks style underdog sports story? Oh, uh, I thought we were playing so many. Uh, I thought we were playing Mighty Ducks. <laughs> or if you've seen no, the Little Giants. <laughs> sorry to or if you've you seen uh, Shaolin Soccer. Or if you've uh, seen, there's a ton of inspiration out there. Cool and, Runnings. Uh, cool Runnings. Wow. Great, great pull. And so uh, I created this subsystem called Fleenflel because I went to a celestial <laughs> language translator totally online real. and typed in sports ball and it gave me Fleenflel <laughs> as the translation. <laughs> so I'm like, that perfect. Really? That's exactly how that happened. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't come up with that wow. in my brain. <laughs> and uh, the gang here, uh, with the exception of Mace, got to play all Loxodon. Yeah. One of the conceits of the campaign was that every single one of them had to be an elephant kin. And uh, so we had Rich how plays. How did you decide on Loxodon? Is there a you guys decided. We decided. I, 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 I we said, decided as a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, in episode one, there's a moment where we're halfway through playing the actual like thing, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure mechanically you chose the worst race that yeah, you could play. Yeah, picked. that's okay. We uh, didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> Neither did I. It was a secret. Uh, Rich was playing Ravioli. Uh, who is an artificer, but instead of a uh, normal uh, steel defender, I think that it was a... Um... No, he was my homunculus. Oh, it was yeah. Yeah. Show. Yeah. Kill me! So what subclass is that? Uh, well, it was still in UA. It wasn't out yet. And right. I think I was the alchemist. The alchemist. Uh, and I flavored yeah, it as, uh, as a fry cook. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, so it was this horrible, yeah. horrific ab abomination. Um, and Gaspacho's got canonized officially in Beneath Dark Wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's That's an Ivory Italian restaurant. Where a, a terrible mob murder never, happened. Uh, Mikey never. was playing... <clears throat> Budweiser! <laughs> His, he went by Bud Yancey 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 Oh shit, B Yancey Zur! B Yancey Zur! And he went by Yancey for the and entire it was, time. It was, to a, set it up was a, four, a one month setup for one really bad joke. <laughs> we had Gina, uh, who was played by Nikki, uh, and Kelsey and Maya also had characters who were in uh, their body. And the rest. I will, I will, yeah, <laughs> and the rest. Yeah, seriously! And I'll fast forward and just say the way, the way that it worked, the way that it worked <laughs> was they were going to have to get through four <laughs> rounds of of combat with the the non-lethal uh, sports ball uh, uh, subsystem that I wrapped on, and uh, if they got through all four thresholds, they would each get their own individual capital W wish. And we played through all four, and amazingly, Trunks won. Trunks win. I'm just, I'm just gonna Fair spoil it right now. If you want, we had some close games. Uh, yeah, there were some, there were some nail, nail biters. There were some hilarious social RP as they explored the city of Galtica, which is where that and this uh, takes place. Um, and the conclusion of it uh, was, of course. Uh, uh, great gifts for everyone, with the exception of Andy's character, Babar. <laughs> Who did you play, Andy? Oh, uh, I real quick, thirty thousand foot view. Played Babar. Uh, my brother Ravab B Ravab uh, died died in a horrific fleeing flail accident. Uh, what was your years full prior. name? Uh, Babar B Babar. Um, uh, don't ask why we have different last names. <laughs> it's a lot of dumb thing. We don't have to talk about that. Um, he died in a horrific fleeing flail accident. Babar still. Oh, 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 oh my God! <laughs> that was it. <laughs> it's one of those nights. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Babar steps up uh, with a team of Loxodon to enter into the tournament to hope to wish his brother back from the grave. Uh, then he met Yancey and the rest went on all went downhill. He started dabbling in illicit drugs and alcohol. Uh, he and he, strippers! He, 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 and strippers. strippers! I never would, Babar would never get the strippers. It, it accidentally became a perfect villain arc. Uh, by the end, he had forsaken his god. And his brother. Uh, and his, well, no, he didn't. He never gave up wanting to bring back his brother, but in his hope uh, of the wish, he wished to become a god himself to raise his brother by his own hand. Uh, very blasphemous. And uh, I didn't know how wish worked at the time. Derek told me by the rules of wish, I couldn't wish for that. My wish was squandered. Uh, and ever since then, uh, Babar has hoped to gain vengeance on the Fleenflel Association, the Judge and the Genie. Um, 
but things have not quite gone his way. No, I think that's the perfect place for us to pick up and do the session proper. Does anyone have any questions before we get started that aren't, what's Fleen <laughs> <laughs> um. That's the only question you can't ask. What was Babar's god's name? This might come uh, up. Gigantus Elephantus Illustris. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically giant star elephant. <laughs> in like, in like fake Latin. In like, yeah, Latin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to beautiful Goodberry Square for the 43rd Grand Fling Flell Prime Material Playing Championship, brought to you by Everwood's Emporium. I'm Tank Hammerfall, and joining me, as always, is the one and only Verit Day. Hello there. Before we begin, let's take a moment to recap the astounding journey of the Mighty Trunks, who won the 42nd championship just four short years ago. Verit, what a series of games we witnessed. It was like watching a herd of elephants waltzing through a field of flaming tulips. You betcha. In game one, the Trunks faced off against the Kobold Flame Skulls, immediately dominating the field 4-0. Coach Eggman really had them working like a well-oiled machine from day one. Like trying to fit a square peg into a circular maze. You ever try that tank? No. In game two, they went up against the Hathling Crawling Claws, finishing 4-1. The trunks were proving they weren't just stomping around, they had some finesse, too. Finesse, like trying to catch a live fish with a greasy spaghetti strainer. <laughs> and game three against the direwolves was a real nail biter. The trunks clinched it four to three, showing determination in the face of fierce opposition. You know, Tank, it's like when you try to peel an orange and suddenly you're juggling pineapple. That's how unpredictable it was. <laughs> well put, Derek. And finally, in game four against the former champions, the Bloodhawks, the mighty trunk seals the deal with a 4-2 victory. It was an impressive display of teamwork and strategy. Teamwork, like synchronized swimming with walruses. You don't see that every day, Tank. Not even on Tuesdays. You know it was later revealed that the Bloodhawks were a sinister cult of elves attempting to use their wishes in service of their Dark Lord. Indeed, Barrett. Though I don't think that was conveyed very successfully at the time. That's true. That's That's true. true. <laughs> yourself, folks. Oh, but here's the kicker. Instead, each member of the Mighty Trunks was granted a wish by a powerful djinn after the victory. Which begs the question, where are the Mighty, mighty Trunks now? Word on the street is that B. Yankweiser <laughs> died tragically two days after founding the now famous Budweiser Beer Brewing Company by jumping into a volcano after mistakenly assuming that a magical ring of lava breathing would protect him from the intense heat. <laughs> Just incredible. <laughs> and what of Gina Isabella Martini Dominus Freddy Ricciola Day? <laughs> Unclear. We were married for a few months, but she no longer returns my shell phone calls. <laughs> Forgive me, I had no idea. It is what it is. Little is known about the whereabouts of Amelia Toodle's Lapsfield either. <laughs> Though there are rumors that she went mad after reading a book that foretold her own death. <laughs> What we do know, of course, is that Louise Trunkwell is now one of the nobles of Galtica having married into the extremely wealthy Everwood family. I understand they'll be attending the games this week. Incredible! What can you tell us about Babar B. Babar, one of the Mighty Trunks frontmen? Currently serving life in prison for aggravated criminal damage, <laughs> drug trafficking, drug possession, fraud and financial crimes, public intoxication, <laughs> kidnapping, and second-degree murder. <laughs> Unreal. And of course it goes without saying that Ravioli Gazpacho would go on as owner of the absolutely prolific Gazpacho restaurant franchise, many of which can be found right here in Galtica. I love their Lampredotto. It's so moist. <laughs> Gazpacho's really does offer quality food, home cooking, and choices like salads, wonderful hot appetizers, tantalizing combination platters, and a variety of distinctive dishes served right to your table. They hold to tradition, yet tinged with the times. And Coach Eggman? <laughs> Retired, living happily with his wife and daughter. 
Well, there you have it, folks. The Mighty Trunks against all odds triumphed in the 42nd Grand Prime Material Plane Fling Flell Championship. What a spectacle it was. You can't make this stuff up, Dink. It's like trying to do spaghetti. I don't think anyone could have said it better, Barrett. Stay tuned, folks. Wherever they may be, the Mighty Trunks have certainly missed the 43rd Grand Flame Flow Prime Material Plan Championship, brought to you by Everwood's Emporium. Our first game today is the GIF Aberrant Mind Weevils versus the GIF Abhorrent Spined Devils, which will sure be, be a confusing time for all. Regardless, as soon as you hear the king's whistle, things are going to be decided very quickly here in beautiful Goodberry Square. Thanks for watching. <laughs> well done. That was, that was incredible. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. incredible. That was just better than we ever could have expected. What the hell? <laughs> oh man, I oh. missed. I missed this. <laughs> oh holy shit! Holy shit! I don't really shit know what I expected, right. but I'm impressed. Can we cue up the Gazpacho's theme song? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to find whatever Beneath Dark Wing episode that is. Uh, it's been a hard few weeks. Well, months. Well, years. You all find yourselves in the confines of Galtica State Penitentiary, a sprawling fortress perched on a small rocky island just off the coast of the city of Galtica. Drab, gray walls rise high all around you, the prison yard, where you now stand, is a desolate expanse enclosed by towering guard towers, each manned by powerful sentries capable of quelling any hint of escape. In this prison, the inmates are a diverse array of magical creatures, and the security precautions are as fantastical as the beings it confines. Each of you wears a heavy cloth uniform featuring horizontal stripes of orange and white yet somehow still as dull as the fortifications that surround you. The distant clanging of doors and muted conversations underscore the isolation of this formidable institution. Today, the yard has been transformed into a makeshift arena. The score is tied three to three. You are not mere spectators. Rather, you are players not just serving your various criminal sentences, but serving up the ringer in this final round against another team of inmates. Though not as grand as the championship occurring on the coast only a few miles from here now, you are still drenched with sweat from exertion trying to earn bragging rights for the month, as well as the handful of gambles you've made. For these next few moments, the walls and bars disappear, and all you can focus on is the game. I need everyone to roll for initiative. Oh! oh that's fun. <laughs> and because I only have one combat playlist, we're going to be listening to Ice Bounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was surprisingly effective. Yeah, okay. I'm into it. Um, when your turn starts for this round, uh, I'd like to hear a little bit about you. Uh, about you. Uh, I'd like to learn your name. I'd like to hear sort of what you look like. Uh, I would like to also understand for what you've been put in prison for. Uh, maybe you've been here for a while, maybe only a short time. Maybe a small crime or a large crime. But I'd like to understand uh, exactly what uh, has incarcerated you. Um, that is the prompt that we will be thrust upon you as soon as we figure out in what order. So. <coughs> 20 to 30. <laughs> We're not very fast. <laughs> or I'm not very fast, I should say. 15 to 20. <clears throat> 15. Walrus is up. Uh, 14. 14 13. for Felpip. 13 for Babar. 10 to 15? 7. 7 for <laughs> 7 Quincy. also. You may go first. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> And um, the way I'm going to do this is I'm literally just going to hit, hit, oh, this is going to be this, and this, and then this. Nice. Rock and roll. Walrus. The walrus. <laughs> we need to uh, also <laughs> configure ourselves in the actual game uh, space here. So just let me uh, swing by here and put my boys into uh, their own configuration. Mm 
And uh, you'll have to put yourselves in a configuration. Typically, there's a line behind which you would normally uh, need to. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't mm. remember the rules of fleet. I need, will happily we, explain them. We need some goaltenders. We need we we need All several goaltenders goal because As the ball because the ball can enter from any of the the nine squares that surround it. Oh my god! I'll be in the very so front. You, as the goalie, oh, this is the goal. Yeah, that's the that's the bell tower. The blue is. If the you whole remember thing is the goal. from four and a half years ago, yeah, I want to be right um, So it's it's good to crowd around, and then usually you have like some front men who race forward and try to take like the hard hitters are the ones who try to like hit the ball forward as opposed to the defensive ones. Um, when the ball comes at you, you can make a dexterity saving throw to try to dodge out of the way, but you can also choose to get hit by it, um, taking a certain amount of damage. Are you a sorcerer too? Yeah. <laughs> is this good? Ooh, yeah. this is Rengar's login. That's great. Oh, Let's get the camera over here. I should have have a, uh, uh, You know your law. Geez, sorry. You know your law. I do. <clears throat> as long as we have a uh, enough of a um, sorry. deflection so we don't get fucking smoked right out of the gate here. So just All so the, the folks at All home... I just don't really know how to play. This is Glitzy the, ba the Bank Sparks. It's very this easy. is Felpip. This is Jean Claude Elefante. This is Babar B. Babar, and this is the Walrus. Thank you. <clears throat> um, you can attempt to hit the ball though too. Yes. Okay. So anyway, the that's all um, I'm the ball has something I'm, uh, that I call momentum points, Mace. And so when mm. you hit mm -hmm. it, uh, you add how much damage you do to the ball, and that's how many squares or five uh, five feet increments it's going to fly forward. And it can bounce. You can you can just choose whether you're sending it left or right or straight, um, and try to ricochet it into the uh, target, uh, which is the blue um, circle there on the on the battle yep, map. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and if you hit it, then you win the game. Um, because you right now, right now it's tied three to three. So I'm just—we're yeah. only doing one round of this for the sake of funsies. Um, that being said, uh, if you uh, if it's coming at you, um, you can use your reaction to try and hit it, and its AC is equal to its current momentum. So if it was like coming at you with 15, then you'd be able to try and hit it, and its AC would be 15, and you could maybe smack it away, adding to its existing momentum. Um, and if it hits you, uh, or you let it hit you. Uh, it does half of its momentum uh, momentum in non-lethal bludgeoning damage. Uh, I'm sure there's some more that I'm forgetting, but those are the basics. Um, I used to, in the, the original uh, uh, chapters of uh, Mighty Trunks, I had an idea that there was going to be this like pitch paddle that you could try to use to like knock people down, but you, you, you guys never used it because you didn't want to, and so that's not, that doesn't exist in perhaps this prison game. Any questions? I'm sure, I'm come sure we'll all have questions. You'll pick it up as we play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and if we decide that we are enjoying <coughs> ourselves, we don't have to end it in one round, or it could just end short. Um, Walrus, top of the round. What do you look like? Why are you in prison? And what is your name? Do <laughs> well, I'm the Walrus. <laughs> and I was thrown in jail for various Walrus related crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, most notably, <laughs> attempting to free various walrus and penguins and dolphins and beluga and other walrus-related animals from this Galtican Zoo. I didn't get very far, because my lair is under the Arctic-themed putt-putt golf course that went out of business 20 years ago. Uh, it's very difficult to get a beluga down the street. Uh, so I'm a winter Aladrin, a very large, rotund man with a great big, bushy white beard and mustache. Bushy beard. Um, normally he'd be wearing these sort of sorcerer-looking robes, but instead he's in his prison garb. Yep. Uh, they do humor him, and they let him basically tie around his uh, head these like dangling walrus tusks. Uh, mm -hmm. As a way to keep him, you know, uh, it's 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 a, a, a way to give him some enrichment in prison. Um, and he is a sorcerer with uh, kind of arctic and cold powers. Um, and anything else that I'm missing? Uh, nope. Why you're in prison? What you look like? Sort of a bit about who you are. And, yeah. and you just go by the walrus. You don't have a fuller uh, like walrus smith or. Well, he goes by the walrus, but he tries oh, not to tell people his, oh. his actual name. Okay. You know. Okay. Great. 
I hit the ball. What do I do here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I hit yes. the ball. You have to make it to the ball, and then you can hit it. Its current AC is a resting eight. So if I hit it here or here, will that determine the angle? So it'll bounce this That's way. That's correct. From, from your posi- uh, position, um, you would be like able this. to hit it. It's a very good angle, actually. Uh, yeah, you could hit it this way. You could hit it straight. You could hit it that way. I'm gonna hit it from that Please direction shot. right there. I fucking love that. I mean, they've got two defenders. We can just smash this baby home. All right. So it's an attack roll. It is an attack roll. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, you have, you have to have a plus one. Plus You're good. What? It's only eight. You only have to get eight. Yeah, you go. But do I get a plus to, at all? Yeah. Why not? Is it not just based on? So we, we used to have to determine what attack we were using. So like, if you were using fireball or no, we have paddles, right? Yeah, I, I'm gonna say that you have huh? all of you something to hit the uh, the, the ball. <laughs> I have a mole. Yeah, <laughs> let, 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 just just use your I base weapon. Us using attacks. You can abilities. use spells. You can yeah. use spells. Otherwise, you we just be on our strikes up like and down, and this would oh, be yeah, no. very just a base just bludgeoning. Just use a cantrip. Fifteen. Fifteen. If I'm hits. using my spell modifier Roll okay. for damage. Uh, and they do 1d10, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, someone go to Patreon and pull up the Fleen Flow. That's right, you can find the rules on Patreon. Hey. That looks big, but I can't tell. Nine points of damage. Nine yeah. points of damage, making its momentum 17 now. So oh. now we're going to count down how many squares it's going to go. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay, and at, at AC 10, uh, what letter is that? S. 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 Silas is going to use their reaction wow. to attempt to hit it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they are absolutely going to smack it back uh, with... How much damage am I doing here? Uh, do, do, do. That's going to be this much. <coughs> Uh, they're gonna hit it back with 12 points. That's 22. That gets us up to 22, Which and direction? they are going to send it, uh... Right back, or a different direction? Uh, they're <laughs> gonna send it north-west. Uh, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Ooh. We get a ricochet, roll a d8. That's right, I will oh, do Andy that. Oh, remembers. Thank God somebody <laughs> does. Uh, five. <laughs> Go south. 1d10 confirmed. Thank you, south. 15, 14, 13, uh, 12, 11, 10. K has an opportunity. Uh, they're going to see that it's coming to rest and let it come to a uh, close. 10. They're just going to let it pass them. 9, 8, 7, 6. I think it just we stop at 8 because there's another oh. resting 8. 8. That's how we did this. I don't yeah. remember, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, that works. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh, D10 for the goalie, D6 for everybody else for damage. Thank you, sir. There you go. Thank, Thank you, you. He's got He's got the, All right, well, then the PDF D6, up right now. D6. Are they getting it right? <laughs> nah, we're not. Um, uh, that means it's actually Silas's turn. Um, and seeing that the ball is where it is, Silas is simply going to walk to the middle of the board, as many squares forward as possible towards... Um, How much is moving? Towards Walrus. Uh, 30 feet. The Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, that'll be the conclusion of their turn, uh, which brings us to, oh, another monsters. <coughs> Do I have t- more monsters than I should have? No, One, two, like swap just just four, and monsters, five. and then swap bed bar and monsters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Felpip. Felpip, you're up. Uh, well, I, <laughs> honestly, uh, I, I, I was put in here, I'm innocent. Uh, they never, they didn't have enough en- evidence, but the jury was really bad. A bunch of uh, young people were going missing, going into the woods, hearing voices, whispers of some great beast that stalks the uh, wilderness. And, you know, they may have committed horrible ritual sacrifices, murdering each other, uh, and taking their various organs and body parts to assemble the great Dark Lord and bring his, uh, his great true form in its dark reign. And I was accused of leading some sort of terrible blood cult uh, and corrupting the youth. Uh, which is terribly untrue, terrible tragedy, with music to my ears. I mean, just, oh, the youth, poor the, oh, the youth. Uh, I'm a little satyr. I got them, you know, I'm, I look like a black goat satyr. I'm like four feet tall. Um, and it's just a terrible tragedy. I'm just a nice guy. 
It was the ninth guy who, you know, Felpip did nothing wrong. Uh, <laughs> free Felpip. Oh, boy. Start so, right. doing this. <laughs> um, so what do I, so I, if it's over here, I can't really do anything, right? Not unless you want to hit it with a magical effect. Um, obviously, there would be some sort of muting magic in this space, but because I want you to feel like a powerful hero at the same time, feel free to use uh, uh, your spells and whatnot. You know, I. Uh, I'm this, just, this is an observed game. There are a lot of. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid uh, to take a defensive position as well. Down, but uh, within the confines uh, of the arena, anything goes. As long as we have enough defenders on the uh, <laughs> the old the old bell. But can I hit it with spells? Yeah. And attack attack the enemy. <laughs> 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 non, non-lethal damage only. We're already in prison. That's right. What's one more rep? I mean, <laughs> yeah, add it to the sheet. Who's counting? That's, that's not his character. That's his mace. <laughs> Throw it on my tab. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I already got life in prison. Uh, Put so him on the ground. I'll, I'll, I'll try to trot up. Like, no, oh, I can't believe I had to. Oh, these big bad criminals. Oh, no. oh this is a terrible tragedy. And, uh, as I, I, I trot up. Uh, this horrible, like, blight will grow all over me as, like, wicker and, uh, like, gnarled branches will, uh, uh, cover me as I use my, uh, spore druid wild shape. And I will, uh, my eyes will suddenly turn, like, a pitch black. And you'll hear, <laughs> as the earth, tr- <laughs> earth that trembles one. underneath them. People's shadows. And, and these horrible, uh, grasping branches, uh, as you'll hear the wailing, tortured souls of young people. Uh, please, no, I didn't mean to kill my friends. <laughs> He's erupting Earth right here. Uh, a 20-foot oh cube. God. A 20-foot cube. <clears throat> so, With that, you can basically hit the ball any direction you want, I'd say. So yeah. pick a direction and see how much damage you do. And I want to send it this I way. I love that. that. Love Is that. Is that possible? Yeah. yeah does it need It's to a dex 15. Because it's a area of effect, I'm gonna do a scatter attack. I love that. That's okay. Fine. Roll a d8 for me. Seven. Oh, seven. That's west. So I should roll for damage. No. Nine. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, Jesus. Twenty-one points of bludgeoning damage. So that's Holy twenty-nine. Shit. <laughs> if it fails. Total, right? And then also to all of these guys here. Let me also keep track of these fuckers. Uh, <laughs> health points. Uh, who did you hit? Uh, K and L. K. Yeah. And B. Uh, and B. Uh, oh, does it? Does it be as well? It's four squares. Yeah. One, two, K, three, L, four. K, L, and B. K, L, and B. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's Kai, Luna, and Bane. Bane. I mean, it's it. What terrible ritual sacrifice them? <laughs> all get take twenty-one points of damage. Just straight out of the gate. Twenty. Uh, the, if they fail with that thirty-seven, throw. though. Yeah. Jesus. All right, uh, that's a fail. DC is a 15. That's a fail. And that's a fail, all three fail, so 21, yeah. Does it's difficult terrain until it's clear. Does the ball fail? Uh, it uh, would fail automatically, it's not making a dexterity so saving throw. 29 so total? It now goes to 29, that's right. It's going west. Yeah. That's a lot of momentum. Yep. 28, 27. Yep. Uh, bounces straight back? Bounces straight back. 26, 25 to L. Okay, uh, dexterity um, saving throw. They mathematically cannot succeed. (laughs) 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 Thank you, Andy. No problem. Uh, And so, uh, which one is getting uh, struck? L. L gets struck by the ball. Um, They take uh, half of 21. Oh, 20. 10. 10. 8, 7, 6, 25. Oh, so they take so 12. Uh, They can't use their reaction to try and hit it? Oh, that's interesting. Let's try that. Thank you. <laughs> You're <Nikki>. welcome. <clears throat> Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It was meant to be. All right, so what was the, what, what's the momentum? 25. 25. And so they take. Uh, 12. I can't do. 12 yeah, points wow, of Jesus. 12. 12. And then does it scatter? Yes, and then it scatters. I will roll a scatter, uh, die. It's a 1. And the, does uh, it lose its half the momentum, or does it maintain the momentum? They just take the damage. It loses one momentum. So that's 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. Scattered eye. Six. 
that works. Uh, 2019, 18, 17, 16K. He'll try to hit it. Didn't K already use it? Oh no, Silas. Yeah, um, first of all, Luna's uh, unconscious. And <laughs> so should I just remove the body from the... Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to matter. Yeah, so. the guards try oh, to beat what a them off of them. Oh, no, you be, be more careful. Watch um, this. Which one, which one, <laughs> 16 to K. 16 K. <laughs> 16. Oh, just hit. The janitor really should So damage is going to be... You don't want to use their reaction? I'm using... Um, K's reaction. K, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm using K's reaction to hit the ball. Oh, okay. And they hit. Sure. And so now they are doing 12 points of... Bludgeoning damage and zero. Which direction would you like to go? <sighs> Shit, that is tough. I think I think he just sends it straight north. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 26, 25, 24. It breaks this and shatters. I need a uh, I need a D8 roll. Yep. Probably gonna make uh, it go right now. Another one. 24, 24. Uh, 23, 22, 21, 2019. It's passing you, <laughs> Walrus. I For those of you who are just watching this insanity, um, yeah, this is how uh, Flame Flow works. It just bounces like around like a motherfucker. Oh, I'm presumably 17 plus 8. That's yeah, I crush hit. it. I only have a d6 because I'm not the goalie. 19, 19, 19. Six points of damage. Six uh, points that's of 25. damage. So we're back to 25, and uh, you can send it. Yeah, yeah, which direction would you like to send it? I want to send it into Silas. 24 at Silas. Silas, I believe, still has their... 20, 23, I'm sorry. 23 at Silas. Uh, does Silas still have their reaction? Oh my no. god. No, no, no. Yes. no. Wait, where was, you know. he where was Silas? Silas? No, he was the first he, one. He it? took a reaction, but it was on Walrus' turn. turn. Then it was his yeah. turn. Nikki's so he has, he has a reaction. Right. Nice. 23 is Thanks. the AC. DM Nikki. Nice job, Nikki. Uh, hits. That's gonna be Jesus. Uh, ten. Thirty-three. Uh oh. Which, <laughs> which direction is he sending it? Straight back. North or back to northwest. Northwest. Okay. Oh. Uh, so that's gonna I don't be remember, yeah. thirty-two. So, oh my god. It's part of my read. Thirty-two. Thirty-one. Thirty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Uh -oh. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use my reaction to try and hit it. This music that's is very a epic. 17. Plus 8. Oh, that's gotta be good. Plus 8. Um, is it actually plus 8? Yeah. Can you move the camera? Keep oh, so, okay, so 70 plus yeah, 8. Richie, so that would hit. 17 yeah. plus yeah. 8. Yeah. So then I do a d10 in damage because I'm the goalie. Oh, you're the goalie. I'm wow. The goalie. Yeah, d10. 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 Okay. Oh. I got one. <laughs> That's okay. Twenty-five. Which direction do you want to send the ball? Um, one plus five. Well, I think we add five to our attacks. If I, if I recall correctly. So that'd be six. Thirty. Yeah. You you would add strength or dex, <coughs> whatever your strength or dex is. is oh, okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, so four. So that would be five. Twenty-eight. <laughs> um, and I guess I would send it straight back or diagonal. Back this way. Wait. Right? Uh, you could send it that's back. That's very reasonable. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, extremely yeah. reasonable. Yeah, yeah. and then it will potentially hit Silas because he doesn't have his reaction anymore. Uh, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. Let's go. Um, oh, what a terrible tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see good athletes fall. Uh, which one is that? Silas. Silas. Silas, who it is uh, a big... Um, Silas Frosthart, a big Goliath of a man, guilty of manslaughter, sadly. Uh, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> is just gonna take it. Uh, so he's gonna take half the bludgeoning damage? Yeah, that would be uh, nine. Nine points of, yep. of it? Okay. That gets and then it loses one momentum. It loses one, one momentum, momentum and, and scatter dies. Scatter dies. And that's gonna be a three. East. Um. 17, 16, 15, scattered eye. Oosh. Four. Sorry. 17, uh, 17 sorry. 15. 17, 17, 16, 15. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, B. 
Uh, seeing that it's going to miss the bell tower, um, that particular character will let it fly. Eight. Done. Wow. <laughs> Whew. Where's Z right now? Z is right here. Over here in the... Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Z is going to step between the bell tower and the ringer. And he's going to attempt to hit it. He succeeds. He's going to get uh, 14 of your bludgeoning damages. And he is going to send it. Uh, what happens if he sends it uh, north, um, northeast? Uh, it goes. Sorry, I'm struggling to draw this line in my head. It mm -hmm. goes here and it bounces along the, all of these, so it it, it gets a nice. That's a good bounce. Yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take angle. that bounce. I'll yeah. take that bounce. Okay, twenty-two. Um, B doesn't have a reaction, so I'm assuming you're just gonna let that go. Yep. Uh, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. Felpit, do you have a reaction? I do. <laughs> well, I mean, it would be th would be a terrible tragedy that even broke somebody's neck. <laughs> oh, uh, you only get no, you're good. You only get plus one to hit it. It's eleven yeah. right now. And that's twelve. A six. It's a D six. So yeah. Yep. Uh, eight. So that goes to twenty. Which direction would you like to send it? Uh, I mean, you could just try to clobber. I'm gonna clobber. Oh, oh, sorry, B. <laughs> All right, straight south. We're going. <laughs> 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, 15, 14, 13, 12 to B. Uh, does B have a reaction? That's Bane. No. He let it pass by. I don't know if he's used his reaction yet. I don't think he oh, has. Oh, okay, maybe not. He's I don't think he's not going to jump out of the way. He's going to take it. So how much does he, uh, 12, Bane's? which half would be six? Six. Ooh, loses he, he takes it right in the noggin. You can tell that he's dazed from the attack. It loses one momentum and scatters? Yes. It would be Eight. terrible tragedy if it goes to K. Oh, man. Uh, 10, 9, 8. <sighs> Not doing the announcer's voice right now. It's killing me. <laughs> um, that being said, it is Babar's turn. I can't get there. What does so Babar look like? Uh, yeah, so Babar is a massively huge Loxodon who has spent the last four years in prison doing nothing but working out. <laughs> so Babar was already pretty in, in pretty good shape being a strong paladin, but now he's like absolutely yoked. Like he's he's completely just off the he's he's too strong for his own good. We, in addition to that, what he's been doing is spending the last four years basically trading for secrets and. Uh, information regarding powerful magic items and uh, hints as to how to ascend to godhood. I imagine that the Galtic in prison would have many different types of people and, and from all walks of life, powerful people who may have information regarding, uh, um, you know, all this sorts of most tips and ancient yes. and arcane of secrets. He is still hoping to uh, seek vengeance, attain godhood, and ascend beyond this mortal like, coil. Yeah, basically, in instead of defending your son, uh, uh, not your son, but instead of it, you're, you're Sarah Connor, where the, the yes. focus and drive is just this one thing every Ascension. single day. Absolutely, yes. Ascension. Um, and he looks a lot rough. I mean, I mean, he's in good shape, but he looks he looks haggard and, and older from being in this prison from the last time that we saw him. Uh, I've got and 30 the drugs! <laughs> and the drugs don't help. He's Although, like the guard at the Salty Spittoon. Drugs are a lot harder to get in prison, but not impossible. Um, okay, I will just have to move. I don't have really much else I can do. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I'm going to run, like, right up, like through the middle of the field up to Silas in, in a very intimidating way, basically trying to like shoulder check this manslaughtering <sighs> Goliath uh, as I position myself in a way to intimidatingly smash the ball into the bell. Um, and I don't have any range attacks, so that's my turn. Bane? Uh, B is up, where's B? He's right here. Uh, he's gonna run up and try to smack that thing. Yeah, he, probably, he can definitely get there. Terrain. Oh, mm. what's his total movement? 30. 30. 30. So that would be 10, 20, Oh, even more than that. Yeah, yeah one and a half. Uh, Shit, he's like gonna make it there. This would be normally be fifteen. Normally but you one and a half. That's three, four, five and a half. Yeah, he can get stuck. Okay, he can get there. Okay. I trust y'all. He hits. <clears throat> uh, he's gonna do thirteen points of bludgeoning damage, and 21. he's gonna try to send it directly between Babar and 
walrus. This way. Yeah. Yeah, that works. So uh, the bar has his reaction. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna fucking smash this idiot. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be 19. Smite. 19, oh boy. It's gonna be tough to hit. Oh. No, you got this, you got this. I only have plus six, interesting. That can't be right. Mm. Is it based on strength, or is yeah, it based strength. on... Yeah, I bumped up my charisma. Oh. And then, and then I'll show you afterwards. Uh, Loxodon oh, yeah. don't, I hit, I still get it. Loxodon don't have uh, plus the strength, believe it or not. They don't have a racial plus the strength, it's constitution. It's con, yeah. Um, we'll fix it. Uh, I mean, there's nothing to fix, it's just the race. Uh, that's gonna be 24 to hit. Uh, and I'm gonna smite this, this jackass. Um, which is an additional 2d8 at the cost of a spell slot. And 1d6 plus 2d8. What does that look like? Are you, uh, how, how does a, a, a Babar in your position after yeah, all this time? Yeah, so smite? before it would have been this beautiful starlight, blessed from Gigantus Elephantris Lustris. You see a stampede. Or <laughs> yeah, it would have been very like astral, you know, beautiful. Now it's kind of like deep red and gray. Black. There's clearly some sort of malevolence. Everyone sees a graveyard of tusks when you're. Yeah, it. it's it's there's a, there's a malevolence in the okay. smite now. Okay. Uh, that's going to be nine, ten, plus three is going to be um, thirteen points on top of the nineteen, which would be thirty-two. Okay. And ah okay. oh shit, that's in the way. That's in the way. Damn. You could send it straight yeah, south. Yeah, that's just not ideal. And hope ideal. that it bounces. Because I don't think B or It'll just come back. Or K has there. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna send it into this mm. and see what we get. Uh, Ooh. 31, 30, 29, scatter die. Four. Same path. That's actually not terrible. No, it's not bad. Um, 29, 28, it's 27, going so fast 26, it blows 25, through the tower. 25, 24, oh. 23. Oh. Oh. That's it. Yeah, that's Ding. Oh. Oh. Trunks win! win. Trunk, Trunk win. Trunk, Trunk win. win. Um, As I hit this ball, wow. uh, I, I release an absolutely thunderous. <laughs> And uh, basically, I'm screaming at the other combatants <laughs> like a madman. There's saliva going everywhere uh, as I drop my my paddle to the ground and and stand there and roaring in triumph. Some of the guards are doing this. Some of the few uh, prison uh, uh, inmates are uh, sort of clapping and cheering, having one perhaps some some gambles. But you remember in your head, in your mind's eye, you can see the crowds of Goodberry Square all screaming and and cheering around you, uh, with flags that look like uh, uh, elephant trunks waving back and forth. You can hear the cheerleaders. You remember your friends. And in this moment, uh, you're hit with an immediate sadness, uh, as uh, even though you um, not perhaps not immediate sadness but a pang of that memory also comes with the sweetness of this victory and it's a bit more bitter for, the, for it. Uh, and because we didn't get to y'all's turn to play any of this Queen Flell, <laughs> uh, my apologies. John, uh, Claude, who are you? What are you in for? How do you look? Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I, well, I, well, I do declare that that's a victory! <laughs> <laughs> The name is Jean Claude Elefante, <laughs> lawyer at law. <laughs> and I'm here in prison uh, because I was the lawyer that was defending Babar at his trial. And previously I had his list of crimes in front of me, which is hogswash, I say. Absolute cold swallow. The greatest thing I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> and we were running through them and. In court, it was such and such and such and such and murder. Oh, manslaughter. Oh, manslaughter. No, murder. it was second degree murder. There was no manslaughter. And that was it! I they tried to pin kidnapping on him, and I said, A jury that is hog the wash, I won't have it! He did not nap any kids, it was a grown full adult. <laughs> and on that alone, he should be set free! <laughs> and at the time, I, I tried to get in their heads, and I said, 
you let him go or I'll kill your whole family. <laughs> but I didn't understand that you were supposed to whisper that part and only one person would hear it. So I shouted it as loud as I could because I thought it would be more menacing that way. And, uh, well, they locked me up. And, uh... I too, man. Uh, uh, an elephante. <laughs> I mean, uh, a lot is on hunt. A lot also, is on Also here. commonly known as Oxygen. elephante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, elephante. <clears throat> and where Babar is uh, shaped like an upside down pyramid, I am shaped firmly like a standard pyramid. Uh, traditionally, would be wearing kind of like a full uh, white uh, suit with uh, like a cream colored tie mm -hmm. uh, in an askewed pocket square. Uh, as it was uh, matching offhandedly the the color of the tie, never never directly matching, because yeah. uh, there's no firm sense of style. Uh -huh. um, uh, like white kind of tussled but slicked back hair, uh, and a white uh, I don't know how an Eloxon would have a goatee, but that's how I imagine it. <laughs> they Somewhere do. around they the, they just do. <laughs> they, they're a goatee around, <laughs> around just a, a ring of hair around the, the snout king. It's just uh, it's a goatee that runs yeah, down, yeah, 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 down yeah, the mostly. chin, under the just trunk, a... and comes on down. Uh, and normally I, I do say that I would walk with a, with a bamboo cane, but here in prison, uh, just an iron pipe is what I walk around with. So just to be very clear, uh, you and I are shaped like Crash Bandicoot uh, <laughs> criminal, and you are Me Too shaped lawyer. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure. Exactly correct, young sir. Exactly correct. Is anyone else hungry for fried chicken all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> one moment. I Is that what's going to somebody? Oh, no, that's fantastic. No one gets inspiration now. I just got one. I got one. I'm sure it will not matter after this. And, uh,. Glitzy was also on the field, um, despite the fact that the ball, the ringer, did not arrive in your path, uh, um, except for the one time. She blocked it. Uh, you were able to successfully block it. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I may be small, but I'm the best coolie they got out here on the field. I'm Glitzy the Bang Sparks, and I'm on. He I'm in here for something I don't quite think is fair. I don't think I should get life in prison for starting a riot at a concert. I think that's a little <laughs> ridiculous. It's not my fault that a lot of people died, and I really don't think it should be illegal to yell fire when there isn't one. <laughs> but that being said, what happens? What happens? My favorite band of all time, I was watching them, the White Sparks. <laughs> and they were playing That's my favorite cool. song, Seven Nation Army, and I just got a little out of control, <laughs> and I yelled fire, because they were on fire, I'm telling you. And maybe I dropped a bomb or two, but honestly, who was even counting? And, uh, oh, let's I see. It was very... It was very amazing. The body count was very high. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, oh, what a terrible national tragedy. Yeah, it wasn't really my fault, though. It was more the bomb's fault. It was a seven national tragedy. Where's the evidence, I say? That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fairy, not a pixie. Um, it's confusing, I know. Um, and I'm wearing some ripped fishnet stockings, and I've got some studded boots, and I've got a jacket on with uh, a bunch of patches and buttons and things on it. It's a leather jacket, in case you were wondering. I got my ripped band t-shirt on, <laughs> and I've got my... It's kind of like a faux hawk because I didn't want to do the full shave on the sides just in case I wanted to look dapper occasionally, you know what I mean? So, but it is hot pink. Um, despite their best efforts to uh, get you just to wear the usual prison uniform, um, yeah. <laughs> you some like they'll get rid of your jacket and somehow you'll always have it the next day because of your connections every being time. what it is. They, they just don't have the right fit for a fairy, you know what I mean? Exactly right, exactly right. So there are you all stand here on the... Um, battlefield uh, of the prison. Really the place where problems are worked out. Uh, really the place where um, uh, exercise and uh, uh, games are had. Um, in this case, Fleen Flel for today and perhaps another type of magical sport, any other. Uh, you can hear the soft claps of some of the folks who are watching and um, you uh, immediately feel a slap on your back. And Silas, uh, the Goliath, uh, stands there, um, Babar. Is good game. Is is play again still light? I will kill you. <laughs> no second game. Uh, and you can see them sort of fanning off Ka uh, Luna, who'd uh, been knocked out so aggressively uh, thanks to the attacks from Felpip and uh, having been smashed by the momentum of the ball. Um, and they start to co coalesce together, but you can see that they're already starting to wave another team uh, uh, to see if they want to play another game of the magical sport that is called Fleen Flail, leaving the five of you to discuss amongst yourselves. 
Oh, it's yeah. a good game. If you, if you want to do a do a, a, a rematch, we could you know maybe smash you even harder than use your entrails for potions. <laughs> Another various brew. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to Jean Claude. Oh, I have a family bucket with four biscuits, a <laughs> side of mashed potatoes, extra gravy, uh, mac and cheese, and throw in a couple extra drumsticks. Oh, for the last time, the walrus, <laughs> I don't sell fried chicken or food of any kind. You don't? And if I had it, I'd eat it myself. <laughs> oh, in copious God. amounts. Oh, I used to know a guy that looked just like you. Passing resemblance, I assure you. I get it all the time. People would call him the Colonel, but it was really spelled Colonel. <laughs> Frustrates me every time I look at it. I take Colonel every day. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help. Jean Claude, has there been any movement on our appeal? <laughs> Well, let me consult my <laughs> appeals document here. Uh, has there been any movement on our appeals? Uh, you have been attempting to uh, speak through the guards to try to get more get the attention of the warden. Um, make a persuasion check. <laughs> well, that is where I, I say I say it's where I'm a Viking. <laughs> Oh, when I do that, I say, I say, I say, that's where I rolled a natural one. And with that, in a lift. Every, every time you ask, yeah, sure, we'll get right on that, chief. Yeah. Well, bad bar, I do say, I believe it's going to be any day now, because old John Claude Elefante <laughs> is on the case. The, you just have to keep me on retainer. These walls cannot hold me forever. No, and they will not. They will not, I declare. Well, anyone want to eat some disgusting slop at the cafeteria? Maybe <laughs> oh, so yes, maybe, please! Maybe start a prison riot or two. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit peckish now that we played that game. I only got to hit the ball once, but it was better than last time. <laughs> Yeah, in the chaos, maybe we can make a missing person the about oh, it. you guys want to start a food fight and see if someone dies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, me, me I like that you're in here for, like, minor crimes, and you're like, yes, I'm down to murder. <laughs> you make your way <coughs> to the cafeteria, and you either enjoy the slop or you find ways to throw it and get other people to throw it. Uh, but uh, that is just another day uh, in Galtica State Penitentiary, the place you've called home for however many years you've been in this particular prison. And then night comes, there's a few more waking hours before you eventually find your way back to yourself. And part of the reason perhaps uh, the five of you find yourselves uh, on the same team when it comes to daytime physical activities like playing Flame Flow is because yourselves happen to share the branch of the prison that you uh, have been assigned. And so you have had many late nights being able to sort of catch up and talk about your things. It's uh, uh, as close to a friendship or a fellowship or a circle of friends that one could have in this space um, without um, uh, some sort of uh, blood, blood pact or something along those lines. <laughs> so, uh, before we go to sleep tonight, you guys want to make a blood pact or something? <laughs> And those bars slam home, and the five of you find yourselves alone in the quiet of the night, um, as you can hear the, those same bars slamming home as uh, the rest of the inmates are put in their cells. Um, facing each other as you do, um, you know that it could be a very long time before the sun rises and you're able to see what little freedom you can elsewhere in the penitentiary. Blood, blood packed? Yeah, I was just thinking, we're as good of friends as we can be without making a blood pact, so I thought maybe we should make one. Yeah, maybe if we all donate one organ or body part, <laughs> we can be real good chums about oh, it. Oh, Felpip, you don't need to do that to make a blood pact. You just simply have to prick your finger or something. And then I, do we, like, squirt the blood at each other, or do we put it in a chalice and drink it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in a jar for safe keeping. Well, no, you got to do something with it. You don't just hide it in a jar. Well, I'll do the other stuff later. <laughs> <laughs> You're always so selfish when it comes to blood and guts and entrails and stuff. You gotta start sharing with everybody else. 
I mean, you could always try to meddle with dark powers beyond your mortal comprehension, but sometimes it doesn't go so doesn't go so well. Does like those teenagers discovered when they went into the woods. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> you hear the sound of um, footsteps, and you know that uh, right around the corner is the guard that tends to watch your side of the branch uh, at night, the, the night guard, uh, a man by the name of Amar Brightshield. Is he, is he alone? Yes. Hey guys, there's that lone guard that likes to wander around this part of the prison. By himself? Yeah. Alone? Yeah, that's why he called him the lone guard. Just one of them. Yeah. <clears throat> is this the night we've been waiting for? Can we finally return to the woods and serve the Dark One Behemoth? <laughs> well, I was thinking returning to the secret lair beneath the Arctic themed putt putt golf course that went out of business 20 years ago. <laughs> but I, we could go to the woods too. Is that where the kids were drinking the slushies and dying and that's why it shut down? Oh, look! There's blue water! <laughs> Drink that much blue dye. You're not supposed to use the same blue dye in the in the water hats <laughs> that you do in the slushies. I'm not serving the slushies. What are you guys talking about? Look, that was completely unintentional. <laughs> I just wanted my walruses to feel at home in the great blue sea. Beneath the putt putt golf course. Uh, yes, in my secret lair beneath the putt putt golf course. <laughs> Right. Are we gonna talk to that god? Or... He finally comes into view. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> there are bars between you and Amar. Uh, he's a half elf, uh, uh, and you all know him to be a good man, having all probably attempted to bribe him at some point. He's turned down your uh, attempts. Uh, lights out in five minutes. You think we can maybe get ten today? Now, nah, orders are orders. Yeah, but we won. The flame flow thing. Yes, you're not the only one. We can't be making exceptions around here. This is prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, but. Oh, I, 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 I quickly was like, please. <laughs> yeah, what Phil Pip said. Pretty please with. Every with, night with you guys, this routine. Every night. Pretty please with the teeth of Venus in on top. <laughs> Just five minutes. We're your favorite, you know. Make a persuasion check. I we were in fact not his favorite. <laughs> I don't have an arcane focus, do I? Uh, Seventeen. <laughs> no, actually. you wouldn't have an arcane. Oh, oh. long. I Seven. just hand waved that for the sake of let's get through that round of flame flow. Seventeen. With a seventeen. No. Oh, Dawn, how right. I knew it was gonna be a no again. Yeah. But a girl's gotta try. Let's you, miss, see your... you miss every shot you don't take is something I read once in a book or something. I understand that you're up for uh, parole? What is the... Oh, well, I don't know. I think they said they were going to let me out for work. good behavior. Good behavior. I, I understand yeah. that you might be actually out of here in a month. Yeah, I know. I just got to keep being not violent and stuff. Exactly right. Exactly correct, all of you. <laughs> Thank you, Glitzy, for making that very valid point. You're welcome. Great. I snuff out the bomb that I had lit on fire when he walked by. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and put it under my pillow. All right, lights out, everybody. Five minutes, though, you said. It's been five minutes. Oh, I thought oh. it was five minutes from the time you walked away. That wasn't fair. You didn't, st you didn't stipulate that in the beginning. I have a watch right here. It's been five minutes. What's a watch? <laughs> it's, it's, it's right underneath this zipper coat I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deep cut. <laughs> Uh, all he, right, all right. He seems to have his own sense of time, and he um, turns the lights down, uh, and you know that uh, you'll have nothing but the moonlight to shed through it, the very thin barred window in your stalls, uh, at, in your cells, um, for the rest of re the remainder of the evening, and you can hear his footsteps uh, uh, energetically start to make their way echoing down the hall. That lone god, such a stickler for rules. It was worth a try. It's worth a try every night. I only got 30 more days and then I'm out of here. Yeah, you're the nice guy with a nice family. I hope he enjoys them as long as, long as he can, while he can. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. It would be a terrible tragedy if something awful happened to him. I agree, I'd hate that for him. He's nice. Perhaps if he blacks out in a fit of madness, he 
Perhaps murder the entire family. That'd be a terrible tragedy. I don't think that'll happen, though. You'll end up here right with us, the great equalizer. The prison. <laughs> prison flop. Oh, it's not that bad. Every evening when night falls, I know that I must wait until morning again. For I sit here underneath the judgment of Gigantus Elephantus Illustris. <laughs> The only way to escape that judgment is for me to ascend myself. You guys want to do some hard drugs and forget about reality for a while? <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up, Glitzy. I've been taking a break from the hard drugs for a while. You want one, a stripper? One of the other, <laughs> one of the other guards <laughs> slipped me my usual shipment in a balloon. Right up the prison wallet. The balloon, unfortunately, was faulty. I was tripping balls for weeks. Decided to take how it long, easy for a little bit after that. How long ago was it that they slipped you the balloon in your prison wallet? Months. Months ago. Are after, you after sure? that instance, no more hard drugs for Babar B. Babar. For now. You're sweating profusely right now. Are you telling this story? Are you sure it was months? I'm sure. All right. Why you, uh, why you hold down on that babar, be the bar? Well, it's not like he could give you any. He <laughs> just said he butt chugged the whole thing. <laughs> why don't you share a little bit? Never mind. Well, I think that, I believe for the point of the story to get across, we gotta, we, we gotta plan our daring escape on account of us all being innocent. Oh, but there's no point in me trying to escape. We only got 30 more days. I mean, that's a long 30 days, Clipsy. Oh, I mean, I know that it sounds like to you that trying to break out would, might ruin it to perhaps get life. <laughs> but you could get out sooner rather than later if you bust it out with us. Yeah, I guess that's true. So what you're saying is that she could wait 30 days and be free. Or she could attempt to break out, get out 30 days sooner. But if she's caught, spend the rest of her extremely long fairy life in prison? Listen, the walrus, if I have learned anything through all of this, it's never wait for anything. Get instant gratification the moment that you can. You, for if all you know, you might end up in life in prison. So you're saying you want some of these drugs. <laughs> you some drugs. My, my like, stomach, like, coils, my, my eyes kind of, like, go, and I, like, push your hand away. But it's just pixie sticks. If we are going to be breaking out of here, we all need to stay sort of sharp. Okay, well. You pass your pick, pixie I'll stick. I'll have half of one. <laughs> you snort it. For, for some of you, you're on one wall, and for the others, uh, uh, you're on the other side facing in. And so in order to get pixie sticks, sometimes it's a matter of tossing them, and other times it's a matter of, like, handing them around so that another hand can grab them and then walk to the other side and then handing them around. It can be quite an elaborate yeah. procedure of... Uh, 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 teamwork, actually. Like an, a false arm of like gnarled roots that <laughs> stand out. <laughs> well, I'm back here. Uh, I'll give well, I'll anything think. for you, Felpip. Now listen, Rabab, there's no reason to get upset, okay? Rabab was my brother. Oh, I thought your brother was Babar B. Babar. I am Babar B. <laughs> Babar, you old fool! <laughs> no, I thought it was I am Rabab B. Rabab. And I will raise and avenge my brother Babar B. Babar. How many times have I explained this to you, the walrus? <laughs> well, uh, you both had stupid names in my defense. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the walrus. I'm, I apologize, Babar, right? Babar, is that the right one? They're it's, very similar yet it weirdly is different. Babar. <laughs> Why did you and your brother have different last names? We don't talk about that. <laughs> no, all right. Uh, well, I vote on breaking out. Yeah, I mean, I think that maybe I... there could be minimal or maximal collateral damage. <laughs> I mean, we, felt that we could do maximal collateral damage or minimal. Whatever we're feeling. The damage done will be whoever stands in our way. I just don't think I can do the breaking out thing. Well, freedom certainly isn't going to come to you without trying. Not in 30 I've days. I've been trying real hard. 
real hard. I've been making sure that every food fight I start gets blamed on someone else. How, how does that support getting out of here? <laughs> well, it means that they think, they look at me and they're like, oh, that glitzy's been an absolute just primo prisoner. So we're going to let her out early. Instead of life in prison, she just has one more month. Well, that's genius. <laughs> you should be coming up with a plan to break us out of here. With ideas like that. Well, we could try and, like, we could all, oh, we could become an amalgamation of one, we could all do a bunch of drugs, okay? Well, let's, let's start off that way. Okay, okay, I like what it's Right, going. we could all do a bunch of drugs. Okay. And then we could form, like, a human millipede or whatever it is. Ooh. What, no, you don't like this? Well, hey, no. <laughs> what does that look like? I was into the drugs portion, but, uh... Does that involve eating? Yeah, the drugs. <clears throat> And so we're going to, like, attach ourselves to each other and form, like, this giant amalgamation of us. We're going to have to give ourselves a name. Oh, you mean, like, we'd hold hands? Or... Oh, we'd piggyback each other? Yeah, just, like, insert ourselves. And then, anyway, what we're going to do is then we're going to rush towards the wall and see if we can bust it down. Oh, scream it loud, scream it loud as we can. Yeah, because the lone god's not going to hear us. Well, then why would we have to stitch ourselves together just to run at the wall? Well, because if we try and do it separate, you know, when we hit the wall, we're all going to bounce away from each other. But if we're all, like, inserted into each other, then we're one solid mass. And when we slam into the wall, we can't break apart. Or something about the drugs. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lawyer Man, what's your idea? (laughs) I also have this bomb. Well, why didn't you just say so? It seems as though we could just wait for a ma to come back around and steal the keys right off his belt. <laughs> or we could put that bomb next to the side of the wall and just blast on out of here. No, I can't use it, though, because if I get caught, I'm going to have to spend the rest of my life in prison. Well, just blame it on one of the other guys. throw the bomb out the window. <laughs> it's worthless. It lands next to a bunch of other unexploded bombs. <laughs> This happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've been like, talking yourself out of it over and over. And this is how the evening progresses. Usually talking about means of escape, then remembering that you can't, and that almost certainly any attempt that you did would be thwarted by the GM. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually you find yourself asleep until late that evening. You hear a sound. It's very unusual, this sound, because... It's almost always dead silent all night, but you hear a very familiar sound. The same footsteps of Amar (coughs) start to make their way back through the darkness, and you hear this switch sound. A very faint, deep red glow, almost orange for a moment, and then... Closer and closer and closer. And the figure of Amar, the lone guard, comes into view. The sounds of echoing footsteps get louder and louder and louder. And eventually, in the darkness of the hall that you all share, this branch of the prison, uh, you see uh, the figure, uh, the half-elf figure of Amar, standing there, this lone guard. Um, But... (coughs) He uh, stands a little differently, not quite as um, uh, straight-backed as he normally would be, but instead uh, hunched a little bit. And to your amazement, all of you see him pull up his hand, and between two fingers he has a lit cigarette. Takes a long drag. It's so quiet that you can actually hear the coal burn down for a moment. And you can smell the billow of smoke as it fills the space, this scent of malty, vanilla-like, maple-like. And those of you who are familiar enough with the tobacco know that this is to be a cigarette of Morley Flake. A captive audience. How nice. It's a pleasure to finally get to meet you all here. A very different voice emerges from the sound of Amar, no longer the one you recall, having spoken to him day after day after day, always on night watch, but instead this 
sort of dry, almost papery sound of a voice comes out and addresses the five of you. <coughs> well, well. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Is, this, is this the middle of the night? Like It's like the dead of night. Okay. It's, it's like midnight, one in the morning, two in the morning, something like that. You should, you should all be getting a long rest at this point, but <coughs> instead you just hear the sound of this voice and this figure standing there, um, not approaching the cells at, at all, just... <sighs> it's a pleasure to meet you all in person. Well, I say, Amar, you, uh, you've uh, been guarding over us here every night since we've been here. You aren't, you aren't meeting us. Games aren't your, uh, your style, fella. Jean-Claude. He knows my name. I think it should be obvious that I am not the one you know as Amar. Tonight, I come to you as the representative of uh, some very powerful clients. You can think of me as one of the members of the many-headed syndicate. What time is it? <laughs> if you're not a mom, then are you the one that's going to give me my cool now? <laughs> the walrus, I believe. <laughs> yeah, yes. I have come here to give you an offer. It's three in the fucking morning. <laughs> this, this offer better be good. <laughs> this was the only time that could guarantee a private conversation. What I come to offer you is very special. Well, get on with it. Babar, I think you in particular will be interested in my offer. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I must tell you all, for it is the five of you I seek. Oh this? god, I get out of here in 30 days. I don't know if I'm available for anything right now. But I only am interested in willing participants. Say no and... Are you gonna shoot me? Why are you pointing me with those two fingers like that? He's like, got the cigarette like between his two fingers here and he's taking a drag. Oh! Well, I am not here to oh. harm you. I am oh, okay. here to invite you to a game. Are you Pathet by the Dark One? Come to give my, give me orders on the next phase of the ritual? He takes another pull of the cigarette and it briefly glows and illuminates his face. And looking into his eyes, there's a parallel, a kinship. Maybe not your Dark One, but something is possessing Amar. That I serve his Dark Will. The hooves that stamp in the Dark is for it. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> to attain great power, you must participate in this game, risking everything. But if you should show enough will to live, then you would achieve more power than you could possibly imagine, even you, Falpip. Even me? A lowly worm in comparison to the great king, thick of horn, thick of seal, thick of sword. <laughs> oh, yes. I am but a worm. <laughs> a pawn in his great game. What if you wanted to be king in that game, Felpip? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Felpip king in the fell? Oh, yes. My own dark beast, my own great king. Your own throne, a chance for power. A throne of <coughs> gnarled wood and earth. Power beyond. Ancient beyond mortal comprehension. What say you? The bones of all of my enemies and innocents. Collateral damage. To be weeped. Ah, 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 ah. All of this is well and good, but this is certainly not the first time that any of us have sought after or heard about unlimited power. How can we trust you? Both speak for yourself. <laughs> I can't say that you can trust me and even farther than you can trust any of the others here. 
Well, I think that we'd love to take you up on your offer of ultimate power, but you see here, we're stuck, <laughs> we're stuck behind these here bars, and uh, we can't uh, exactly journey off with you to wherever the heck you'd like to go. This place, this prison you find yourself in, can be easily remedied by someone such as myself. I would transport you from here, but not to freedom. No. Just a chance. You can get us out of here right now? If I so wished it. If accepting is what it takes to be freed from this hellhole, make it so. I'm in. I don't know why I'm not playing the cool, creepy Baxter music. Oh, I was oh, wondering what was going on with that. Yeah. I thought we were you just seem, in prison. <laughs> you seem cooler than that, Amar. Oh, that is creepy. So you're saying... Oh, changes everything. Unlimited power? Power without limits. It's the same thing. <laughs> Could that come with various marine mammal sidekicks? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, and, and flying ointment made from the inner, the venethin? <coughs> oh, no. And all the fried chicken we could eat. Oh! Oh. And I could be center stage. The leader of a band. Like, like, gem in the holograms, but like cooler with bombs. That's almost impossible. Far And like maybe even in space. Gem in the holograms would be a pale imitation of what your band could bring to the stage. That's truly outrageous. Could I throw bombs into space and people would cheer for me? If you win through. So much power and influence, I could do anything and have anything. People would be wearing leather jackets with glitzy face on them. We are glitz -ba bomb What? <laughs> that looked pretty good. <laughs> the walrus. <laughs> well, for your band. I mean, I just thought glitz -ba bomb but anyway, never mind. Oh, God. Well, I guess you could name can, it. Instead of having a faux hawk, I could have a <coughs> mohawk. And it, wait, no, that's not what I want. No, I want, what's that other thing where it's party in the back, business in the front? A, a mullet. mullet. Well, that's yeah. a mullet, see? Yeah, I could have a rock mullet, like that one guy in that movie head where he had a huge penis. You could have the Sorry, king. major image. The king of all mullets could be yours. It could be a hot pink mullet. Old Foghorn Leghorn here had a mullet back in the day. That's that? back when they called me Rockadoo! <laughs> <laughs> Remember those days, Johnny? Oh, the was 80s. Was that back uh, when you were selling chicken? <laughs> yes. Yes, in fact, it was back when I was selling chicken. Yeah, and waking people up in the, in the wee hours of three, like this creepy guy. <laughs> the stranger's cigarette is nearly burned all the way down to the filter, oh. and he takes it and he puts it out into his palm and then sort of conjures another cigarette before lighting one of his fingers. First we try, and then we t trust. If you accept my offer to be taken to a plane of existence from far from here, where you'll participate in a game, you can just extend your hands through the bar, let's say. And I will test your will. Is there a chance that we all die terribly? <laughs> there is a chance of that, yes. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I too am in. Put it here, put it here. You all extend your hands and oh, he sort of gestures know. to uh, uh, put your hand like a palm up. Are we doing this rock a doodle? Oh, well, I think we are. I mean, did you hear power without limit? Certainly different than unlimited power. <laughs> Very different. Very different indeed. I mean, with that, I could open a law firm and never have to show up. Not do a day's work in my life. It just makes money for me. And then you wouldn't have to keep telling people that you're saying and you're saying all the time. <laughs> he. Take a ride. He goes up to each of you and he 
hits the end of his uh, uh, sort of ashes into your hand, but you can see it drops like almost a magical ember into your palm. Close your hands as the embers hit them, and it's cool. You, it, it, you, you sort of uh, uh, instinctively pull away and uh, don't, don't necessarily want it to burn, but at, at first there's not even warmth. Let's see, do you extend your paw? Oh, I don't know what to do, guys. I got 30 days until I'm out of here for real, you know? But there's no promise of being, uh, I don't know, glitzy in the displace of cats. That's the name I'm working on. <laughs> um, oh, I, I, I don't know. Well, well, glitzy, you know, I mean, you, you could I've wait. got this bomb here that's lit on fire. I throw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> it falls down next to a bunch of other bombs before it extinguishing and not igniting. You, you, you could wait to get out and, and be a law-abiding uh, citizen and, yeah. just, and just serve your time and re, be, be rehabilitated, but that does sound like the thinking, uh, that sounds like the actions of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's got a point. Glitzy ain't no bitch. Glitzy. <laughs> <clears throat> and he oh, that's taps, cool he, to the touch. he taps in it, and this ember falls into your hand, and he gestures to to close your hand. <laughs> you have to understand, my clients pay very well in magics and in goods to watch these games. They place bets on them, and that goes for you too. And. <laughs> That's <laughs> for who? Who are you talking to? Uh, uh, the the GM was indicating to chat that they should start putting their money on whoever they want. Hypothetical money. <laughs> <laughs> Understand. Can chat, can chat actually? No, bet? no. Oh. But they they should, oh. <laughs> just just think of who you want to win and and start and start thinking about things in that way. There's there's no game aside from like, oh, I I hope the walrus wins. <laughs> Their clients are very powerful indeed. And then he All takes right. a drag. And you feel the ember inside of your hand grow bright hot. Ew, oh, what the fuck? Oh, well, that's sick. Okay, I am a bitch. I am a bitch. I am a bitch. I need you all to make a constitution saving throw. If you attempt to uh, withstand the pain of this ember in your palm, you can imagine how the searing ember is almost certainly burning through the top layer of skin and into your palm at the very second. Oh, it hurts. Ten or an eight? I got a twenty-six. Oh, that's I would say that's scuffed. I mean, I don't know that that's yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. I'm like he was literally. It was like dead set. Oh yeah, that's rail. the problem that with those so dice weird. is that they they roll and Are they so yeah they cut. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Um, Twenty-four. So what, this is Constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. Twenty-three. Damn. Well, I say that it's also a twenty-three. Oh. I would say it's also a 23. Oh! What the fuck? Uh, do any of you instinctively, you, you have the will perhaps to, to hold on to this ember, but do you drop it? If I get a 23 and it's burning my eyeball, but it feels kind of good. It's, it's I, burning your palm. Oh, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> he, you're, you, you've got your fist shot on it. Ah! Exactly, exactly. I think that bar would have been through way worse. This wouldn't flinch it. He but watches he would, he all would, of you and. He would just wince a little bit. Then he takes another I suffer drag. for the dark one. I suffer for the dark one. I will channel my walrus blood lineage uh, and just not feel it. I'm just going to try to you know, feel cool and cold like the Arctic. Cool and cold in the Arctic. You, you try to channel that. But as he pulls again on his cigarette, it gets hotter and more and more painful. You can't imagine that it, do it doesn't drop out the back of your hand oh. from the searing pain that it is surely burning. In this moment, I need you all to make an additional constitution saving throw. Come on! It did it again. 17. That's the exact same. Yeah, it keeps, it keeps it. Oh, oh, baby, I'm rolling like oh, a fire. Natural 20. Whoa! Hey, yo. 17. 19. 24. 26. 27. You are all able to hold on to your em embers for this second drag as the pain becomes uh, uh, intense. Perhaps even even uh, uh, given whatever background you may have had, all of the pain uh, is is starting to come short of this, and you. Fear for a moment. What might come if a third drag should arrive? I would, if uh, if it's starting to burn like the Dickens, I would say, Oh, oh Lord, oh, great heavens! And you, this is quite a thing to hang on to! You're not ready Mr. to... Mr. Stranger! Oh, no! You, you do this, uh. and you uh, look at your hand. Um, there's a, a brief uh, 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 set of sparks almost comes out, uh, but uh, th you look at your hand and it is uninjured. You've not been uh, uh, hurt. This is some sort of magical effect. Too bad, Jean-Claude. Too bad. Oh, oh no. But if you do, this is like the Gom Jabbar! You gotta get <laughs> <laughs> And 
and then he pulls again from the cigarette. <clears throat> Your hand is free. You do not need to make a constitution saving throw, but the rest of you need, as the p- intensity of this pain brightens past a threshold you didn't realize was possible. Eight. 23. Jesus. Come on. Uh, Come I on. finally rolled not so hot. I got a 16. 16? Yeah. 12. 12? Wait. 12. Eight. Wait, what was the yeah, highest? I don't want to 23. Uh, 23. With a 23, Glitzy, you manage to, thinking of perhaps the, no fuse of, the fuse of your bomb, uh, you start to picture it and it, it, you, you're able to push through, channel through, and because of this, you gain an inspiration. Oh, Ooh. nice! The, re- the rest of you all finally having been pushed to the brink of sanity from this pain, pull away and Ooh. start to, to ah. push, Damn push, push, push away. Ugh. Too bad. Glitzy, very well done. You have shown tremendous willpower in this. Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening to what you were saying. I was drinking out of my communal tea bucket. <laughs> That's just a toilet. It's not tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bucket. A you got the letter wrong on it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I know that's a pee, not oh, a tea. This is in common. Not a funeral, though. It is, in fact, communal. <laughs> You are, <laughs> and in and in trying to win through, you have learned what it will mean for you to try to win through in this game. Yeah, I okay. accept all five of you. Should you agree, okay. you need only open the cell doors, the bars to your your cell, so that you might proceed. Oh, we would, but they're locked. Oh well, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> 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 Until we meet again, the many-headed syndicate sends their regards. And he starts to turn and walk away. Why don't you just go by Hydra? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was delayed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Hydra. Get out of here. Oh, it's not, God, it's not it's a oh, it's a mouse with a baseball bat. Oh, oh that's been a terrible tragedy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would try to open the cell doors. Oh, my God. With Listen this, to what he said. I would immediate, just try to open the doors. And immediately you turn, and there's almost this shuddering of light as you push the bar back, and you realize you're no longer looking into the hallway at all. Where the door started to open and where it has ended has led into a pristine, clean room that is somewhere else entirely. Looking inside, there's beautiful furniture and tapestries. There's all kinds of food and beverages. This is a completely new space entirely, like a portal that has opened just for you. Yes, today, today is the day I am free! No, your name's Ebba. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. When he, open, when he does this, you actually see like this phasing and he just evaporates. You do <gasps> not hear him make this exclamation whatsoever unless you are also opening the, the bars. Oh, I just so, have a quick question. Mm-hmm. The, w- is the w- hearing him now declare the many-headed syndicate mm-hmm. multiple times uh, as hardened, imprisoned criminals? Mm-hmm. Does, does that ring any kind of familiarity to us? Yes, yes. I won't even make you roll like an intelligence check or something along oh. those lines. You would have heard rumors of uh, uh, this sort of shadowy organization, very powerful in Galtica, mm. engaging with um, only the very most premium of uh, 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 gangs, and uh, has its, its fingers in its Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Hydra, but yeah, no, it's it's Hydra. Well, I do say, hail the man-headed syndicate. <laughs> Swing up in that mic. When you do, doors. you see another. Uh, you spot another door suddenly open and on the other side you're both now staring into this shared communal space this beautiful elaborate space you see um, all kinds of objects and artifacts in there things that you recognize to almost be for you Um, as an example Babar you see a a pristine set of armor that looks like it has been tailor made um, and Mm -hmm. it is uh, not like the one that you used to wear the one that would have been adorned with gigantus (coughs) elephantus Yeah, 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 yeah. It would not, it would not have uh, that kind of adornment. But instead, it seems to be a babar. And for you, uh, Jean Claude, the most perfect uh, suit you ever did see, Um, ready and also perfectly tailored. Is Uh, it seersucker? 
Hmm? Is it seersucker? Yeah. Obviously. Absolutely right. It's that a bit bitch of lemonade. It's, it's how, one, <laughs> how do you stay cool in those hot summer days without seersucker running up and down your body waves? It's what John Claude would want it to yeah. be. Uh, and I would say as each of you start to I'll see go, the others going, disappear, yeah. Felpip, you would find the things that you would naturally have on your character sheet uh, uh, <laughs> available. In addition to um, the finest of uh, entrees and appetizers, there's uh, uh, all kinds of um, Drinks from uh, uh, juices to punches to uh, liquors and spirits. Oh, a simple melee weapon and a druidic focus. <laughs> <laughs> Just what the dark one ordered. <laughs> oh, 1d4 gold pieces? Oh, wonderful. Back. I with you. Yes, yes. You, you, bundle, you bundle a bunch of pittons up into your arm. They, oh they vanish into God. your inventory. Because even heaven road. Oh, God. I also open the door and click my things. The two of you also eventually make your way through, and you find yourselves um, um, uh, the the available. Um, Loot being what it is, seemingly custom <coughs> made, and it's at about at this time as you start to uh, 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 come to the um, luxury of this place, given your life as it's been in the, over the past few weeks, months, and years, that uh, you come alive to the fact that there are people in this room, very dramatic, powerful people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, there, there, there are what what appear to be um, uh, very simple armored <laughs> figures. Um, they have gauntlets on their hands. They have boots. They have, uh, uh, they're almost like a, a um, to completely made of metal. But what is especially unusual and what draws your eyes is that their heads are pyramids. These perfect pyramids, four, four sides, and uh, they seem to be sort of looking at you, doing, doing this, looking in each direction. And that's where the five of you find yourself in, as these um, silent guards witness you uh, Take the things that you that you feel are owed to yourself. Silent uh, gods, this is given Silent Hill. What's <laughs> going on with your pyramid head? <laughs> <laughs> the paint on the wall starts to like disgustingly yeah. flap away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> somebody's entire skin is pulled off in one swell swoop <laughs> in a disgusting manner. It's 2005 again. No. Um, no, Things you are, are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Things are awesome. Hey, my dude just came out. <laughs> They're a bunch of weird hey, like co op still nanny exists. nurses. Come on, the bar, let's finish the video fight. move. <laughs> <laughs> you got my code. Oh my red. god. Uh, Any, good anyone times. remember Pepsi Blue? What a oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Doritos weird. Nachos? I can't, what? This is Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell I, I was going with the code red. Uh, yeah, and finish the fight. Yeah. yeah, sponsored by Doritos and Mountain Dew actually. Oh, that's code red. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I do declare code red. <laughs> <laughs> Continue dungeon master. <laughs> Uh, you put on the things that uh, are owed you. You um, enjoy the beverages and the foodstuffs, and um, as you start to sort of like come to rest and wonder what what the next step in this process is, the uh, figures with their pyramid heads uh, walk up and um, hold out for each of you a belt, a simple locking belt with a simple sort of uh, uh, shapeless sphere uh, um, where the belt buckle should be. Um, and they each are perfectly sized for each of you, but uh, they seem silently to gesture that you should each put this belt on. Oh, well, I don't remember seeing this on my character sheet, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love nothing more than a shapeless sphere, and I click around my waist. Mm -hmm. Well now, what do these do? Oh, I should have asked that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nameless villains from Silent Hill. Uh, they sort of gesture to put the belt on. They, 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 they don't, don't speak. They, they just talk. They just oh, uh, yeah. sort of nod at you and uh, uh, continue to push the belt on, on you. Should have assumed all the minions in the demon hellscape waiting room wouldn't talk to me. 
It'll match your I wings and your chicken-like fingers. I think it's quite interesting that you're more worried about putting a belt on in this demon hellscape than you were about drinking the, the liquid and eating the food, which easily could add poison in all of it. Well, the gentleman that invited us here seemed like such a caring chap, but these guys have pyramids for heads. <laughs> The other guy was smoking a pot of cigarette. I mean, the pomola leaf. You can't argue hey, with that and yeah. flee you with the law school. Well, I mean, I do declare he spoke very plainly and invited us here under no false pretenses. And these are like horrors. Handing his belts to wrap about ourselves. All right. Well, it'll clash with my outfit, but I suppose... It matches perfectly. Oh, it matches perfectly, actually. <laughs> you each put the belt on, and uh, it's hard to remember what happens next. Uh, you are uh, seemingly put into a magical sleep. <gasps> A so did we? Sleep. Did we get like our old, like criminal outfits, like our villain outfits, or it's, is it? It's as though you are given the things that would eventually make your outfit, but brand new. It's and you can't oh. tell whether looking at them, they're either perfect replicas that have been made, or they've somehow been like almost stolen out of time and, and delivered to you. Like that time you found that coat, it's as if you just pulled it off the rack in that shop that one time. Uh, each of these items is un unworn, but very clearly yours. It's as if you've gotten all of those things all in one moment, squash squashed together. If that makes sense. That's really cool. Yeah, it does. Okay. A dreamless sleep takes you, and the next thing that happens, you start to drowsily, slowly wake up, and you find yourself in a bed, uh, each of you. There are, uh, looking around, uh, there are other beds adjacent to you. Uh, uh, looking across the way, there, there, there are beds, beds in all directions. A bunk bed, two, three, four, five stacked all in one row. You seem to be in some sort of elaborate, huge dormitory, the five of you. And getting up and starting to make your way down the ladders, you can see that there are other people in this space, hundreds of others uh, of uh, uh, races that you recognize and, and many that you don't. It's in this dormitory that uh, they are two seeming to come together and you can see each of them wears one of these strange belts. The five of you are clustered together in this strange space. You guys recognize anybody here? I'd turn up a bar. I'll say, uh, do you really think we're free? <clears throat> well, in short, no. I don't think we're free. That man mentioned something about competing for this power. Perhaps the game has already begun. Truly, we are cuttlefish games. <laughs> what? What's the cuttlefish? And now we know what to call this. <laughs> what was that? Oh, no. Oh, I don't like our odds. What do you mean? No, we'll all team up and we'll all share the prize. It's gonna be a great, a great, not a terrible, violent, gory tragedy. It'll be wonderful. Uh, a, a gentleman um, walks up and uh, sort of uh, taps you on the shoulder, um, Babar. Uh, why, why? Uh, just a moment ago, I was in a strange room, and now I'm here. Do you know what, uh, what this is all about? Why are you talking to me? <laughs> Any of you know what this is all about? Hey. Uh, yeah, so we were pulled out of prison, oh. and we were told that we could have our wildest dreams fulfilled if we win the game. Well, it's critically important that we were pulled out and not broke out, so you can't add anything to our rap sheet. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Where'd you come from? I was... Uh, I was Did someone put ash in your hand that was kind of cold, and then all of a sudden it wasn't cold anymore? That's exactly right. Yeah, and then did you eat in a room full of Silent Hill pyramid heads? Yes, Silent oh. Hill, exactly. Yeah, and then did you have to put on that weird belt that you're wearing right now, and then you fell asleep and woke up in here? I thought I just fell asleep naturally. And yes. Sean Bean was there too, and he actually survives the film. No, he didn't. He, no, he didn't. He actually died. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Enough of this. Someone tell me what to do. If I have to smash this old man's head in for ultimate power, I'll do it immediately. Hey, calm down. The game is. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't even know if that'll work, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> what if the game is to keep I, us I, 
many this people alive as possible. horrific smile goes across my face as I look at Felpin. <coughs> the Dark One is fueled by the brains and viscera of those who don't deserve to die. Do you deserve to, deserve to die, old man? Yeah, it depends on your definition. Do it. <laughs> okay, but what if the game is to keep as many people alive as possible? Then you fail right away and lose. You know, fella, you look like you know a lot about the Haradrim. <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I stay a while and listen? <laughs> Have I told you about the Haradrim? <laughs> what, are you, what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> Doc One, please protect me. Bay him off. <clears throat> So we all, so we all get ready, or so we say a prayer. What should we do? What should we do? I'm getting a little nervous now. Normally, I prefer it to be the dark and spooky in the woods. It's a little, a little pristine for me. I think we just wait for them to tell us what to do next. As you see, the majority of the people have gotten up, and they're all starting to assemble. And um, there, are, there are groups who seem to know each other already, just like yourselves. Uh, there are loners who either have chosen not to engage with those that they knew in their former time before arriving in this place, uh, or uh, know no one at all, like the old man whose head was almost smashed in by Babar. It's <laughs> Give it another 30 minutes. <laughs> the, the, uh, a pair of gates open. <clears throat> And out come uh, uh, more of these um, sort of powered suits. Uh, you can see that their heads have many different shapes. And uh, if you played Dungeons and Dragons, you would see that they all uh, uh, start with a, a classic pyramidal shape, making their way up through a uh, cube and up the uh, platonic <laughs> shapes until finally, uh, having arrived, uh, assembled on both of this, uh, both sides. Good. Oh uh, my God! Inside watch. The singular dodecahedron guy, and he stands there in the middle. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the game. There's no clapping. Everyone seems confused and just staring up. We are about to begin shortly. Does anyone have any questions? Wait, why do you have a dodecahedron on your face? Because I am the leader. Why would it be an icosahedron? <laughs> this is... That's an icosahedron, isn't it? <laughs> it's an icosahedron. <laughs> What's the deck? Wait, it's a D12, isn't it? Maybe no, I don't know. I can get it wrong. Oh, I'm just I, I, talking I, about I don't know. Else. We should probably double check. <clears throat> this is very important to the plot. Shit. <laughs> I've been this whole time for years, I've been getting this wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a technicality. <laughs> yeah, it's a good uh, I'm just the announcer. He steps aside, and the person with the icosahedron uh, 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 head steps in. Uh, if, if you me, if you me, can, can you icosahedron the nuts? Help him immediately smashed dust. Uh, this is <laughs> bad. I don't feel so good. Uh, in embarrassment, the uh, <laughs> dodecahedron guy himself ignites in the flames. Yeah. And the oh, icosahedron no. guy walks out, clearly the true authority in this space. <laughs> I was just doing that. <laughs> that was the first day of the past wait, game wait, one. Wait, what happens if you get your name wrong? <laughs> I die. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you take an inspiration for that. That's <laughs> knowledge that I'm not kidding. Oh, thank um, you. Oh, oh. It's probably gonna come in handy. No questions having been asked. The uh, icosahedron guy uh, <coughs> leads you out, uh, and you walk through some sort of uh, uh, Euclidean space of fucking uh, staircases and wandering architecture and bizarre uh, uh, spaces and, and yeah. I have a question. Why does it sound like a collection of World of Warcraft taverns in here? <laughs> because... Uh, because it was like we were in Thunder Bluff earlier. This is the only vaguely upbeat soundtrack that I have. I don't know, you it, want was, for me? it was kind of, and, uh, it, it kind of felt fitting. I, I, was, yeah. I was feeling it. I'm getting real tired of there. your shit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How do we win? Hey, Derek, welcome to Monday, or Wednesday. Oh, so uh, yeah, it's is. that Wednesday energy. It's tough. Yep. It's tough. Um, it's all yours now, buddy. I love it. Uh, you're led through uh, the gate, all uh, of you. You can tell that there are hundreds and hundreds of people who have agreed to participate in this game, and um, before long, uh, you're uh, taken through uh, one final threshold, and you walk out, and you can see that there's this long 
like almost a war-torn battlefield. Um, there are bodies there. They're smoking uh, 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 embers in, 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 in all directions. There's uh, battlements and, and trenches, um, all leading uh, to the other side where you can see that there's like almost like a, a thin line that's been painted on the ground. Uh, there are walls that stretch up uh, around this. It's almost as if this place has specifically been fashioned, but there's t- clearly been a tremendous amount of chaos and damage and uh, perhaps combat uh, in, in uh, the middle space here. And you look at, looking at it, it looks treacherous. It looks, it looks hard. And uh, the um, guards, uh, including uh, the Ike Sahedron uh, guy, <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> 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 You're all being guided and directed to sort of stand in one line uh, for this first challenge. What do you all do? Well, if we're going to compete and meet Cuttlefish Sweet Thick, <laughs> we need to make sure that we have no mercy. We should be prepared to sacrifice every man, woman, and child, anyone that stands in our way. We should be prepared to brutalize them and sabotage them and commit horrible atrocities that someone consider war crimes. Fell Pip is right. If this oh, is oh, battle, a battle they will get, and we will emerge victorious. Well, it does look like from the state of this Galtica fricassee all around us that that does seem to be the stakes at hand. Oh, I could, I would kill a man for a steak right now. Oh! Oh, a steak and cheese? <laughs> oh, with mushrooms? Oh. And fried chicken on top. Oh! Why do I keep picturing he was a chicken guy, not an elephant guy? <laughs> I can say. I can't get it out of my head. This is about chicken. Is that a, really? Well, is that a race? Because I'll change right now. I, I don't know. I can be a rooster for yeah, You're a chicken or a cobra. Let's get it. Get yeah, that yeah, yeah, that's that's much better. better. That's right. That is much better. I'm a chicken or a cobra. It's been that way. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. It's been that way all from the very beginning. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, chicken Rocky and I are like a doodle to go way back. The only sound all around you is the shuffling of feet, the murmuring, uh, the confused questions as people are being directed to stand up to this line uh, that uh, uh, where the the tiles that you're used to, uh, having walked through this space, end, and the beginning of this uh, veritable battlefield begins. Um, you can see uh, uh, soil and and um, uh, uh, wreckage and fragmented. Uh, uh, like blast marks all, all in all directions, uh, still smoke billowing up from some sections as if uh, there's been some terrible magical battle that had just occurred here. And uh, uh, peer, peering uh, uh, across the way, you can still see that same line all the way uh, perhaps 150 feet uh, from you in this space. <laughs> Please gather, line up in front of the line. Um, and you're all being directed by this line? Uh, oh, know, on, on this side, uh, amongst the others. Uh, oh, so please, on this side? Yeah. Shit. Oh, just kidding, we're on the same position, side. Position, position. I was hoping we were going to crash like an amazing battle. Like one and then the other. Oh my then. god. Should we alternate, Derek? Yeah, Is that we, we lighting? However you so. want to do it. I think we get, let's alternate. That's more fun. I think we need direction from <laughs> our DM. Yeah. Oh my god. Direction from the DM. <laughs> Do you want to get the map? Very violent. <coughs> Direction from the, the DM. DM. There we are. Um, and you can, looking down uh, to your right and to your left, you can see that there are others who are um, um, looking across, with some with determination, others who are looking left and right, some with confusion. Um, and uh, it's then that the rules are, are conveyed to you to transition through this game and proceed to the next round. One need only walk or run from this side to the other before the timer is out. And they gesture, and on the other side, you can see that there's this um, uh, massive rope, this woven (laughs) giant rope uh, that's connected to um, uh, two weights on either side, and you imagine that when they fall, they will create um, almost something like a gong sound, like a, a, a tremendous um, uh, sound. Uh, but they're being held together by this binding, 
um, and you can see that they are ready to push a um, almost a pyre of fire uh, underneath it to start to uh, burn through the, the the tangles of the, this uh, this woven cord that holds these pieces up together. And then you imagine that you might have very little time once this fire is placed underneath it to make it from one side to the other, and you start to feel the adrenaline pump through your blood, start to realize that this is going to be quite a sprint to get from one side to the other. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Are we waiting for, like, a gun? Yeah. Uh, you get a sense that, uh, that you're waiting because as soon as that initial <laughs> rule is conveyed, um, one of the people um, crosses the threshold and immediately jumps through and starts to run. Well, I'm not waiting for anybody! And he starts to, he, he takes two, th uh, three leaping bounds, uh, jumping forward, when all of a sudden um, the uh, uh, sphere on his belt turns red. <laughs> oh, shit! And the the belt shrinks immediately, oh. clinching together like that. Oh. He is cut in half, one torso falling down to the other side, and a pair of legs taking two additional steps before finally clumsily coming to its own end and that crashing in a bloody awful way to in go. A uh, he screams, but is quite uh, uh, quickly stilled uh, uh, from the painful death that you yeah. can only imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Until the sound of the gongs before you progress. And just for the sake of clarity, I will convey the remainder of the rules as uh, Game Master. <clears throat> Um, obviously anyone who fails to make it to the other side by the time uh, uh, the gong goes dies instantly. Attempting to teleport or fly may come with consequences. Oh. Uh, a player may go oh, half, no! uh, a player may go half speed uh, if you want to make some perception checks uh, depending on uh, how quickly you want to go. Um, but uh, at the beginning of your turn, this is the thrust of the of the game. Uh, you get to tell me sort of how fast or slow you're trying to take it. You could go, you know, one, two. You could say, I want to go all five squares, or you could say, I want to dash and go ten, or however many squares you want to go, and that will determine uh, to, for for me what may or may not be encountered as you uh, continue to progress across this space. Any questions? I, I don't think I have any questions. <laughs> Then I would ask, am I, yeah. am I allowed to wild shape? Oh. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to wild shape. You can use your abilities to uh, help yourself or to hinder others. <laughs> and with that, I would ask you all to roll for initiative. Let's fucking go! Oh and some pump up jams. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Pretty good. It's gonna be really funny if going first is not a good play. Oh, oh, uh, classic the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Twenty to thirty. Classic. Thirty-three. Holy. Oh, sorry. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. What, what kind of walrus are you? Uh, he's got the tools <laughs> for every job. Um, what I'm about, the walrus uh, from Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, yeah. What about uh, fifteen to twenty? What is going on here? Uh, 10 to 15? I got a 12. 12. I have plus 2 to initiative. Well. That bar's going first. <laughs> well, all right. Shut out it. <laughs> well. Uh, 0 to 10? I got a 5. 5? 9. Okay. Um, S is going to, uh, oh, top the round. Um, yeah, oh. S. Did you uh, have no, someone wanted flipped. dead? Or the, no, that was just for the, the, the sake else. of simulation. Yeah. Because you rolled a 30 fucking 3, you may go first. 20, it's well, 23. But oh, yeah. it's 23? 20. Well, go ahead. You go last. Um, so now in my full villain gear, uh, I ha still have those two tusks, <laughs> this higher quality. Um, it was like a bit of a walrus snout as part of the mask. Um, I have a, it looks like ice, almost like just true ice that's, that never melts, a crown that looks sort of glints with magic. I look like one of those, San, like wearing what, what the, the kind of classic vintage Santa Claus outfits, where he has like a full robe that goes down to his feet, but instead of red, he wears like a, like a, like a blue outfit with big uh, mm. black gloves and big black boots. Um, and, uh... Say, oh fuck! Like I did earlier. I'm gonna turn, look left, look right, 
and uh, I'll say, cheese it! And the, <laughs> the crown will glow with this blue icy light and I will blip in a flurry of snow. Um, and it is so ethereally beautiful and haunting that, um, what's, it, what's the difference between BNS? Oh, um, the, their race, uh, one uh, to your left is a tiefling, the other to your right appears to be a halfling. To the tiefling, uh, they, it will be so, uh, scary what I did for some reason. Uh, he needs to make a, I believe, a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a, uh, 13. Uh, that fails, uh, before you teleport... A creature within five feet of you must succeed a wisdom saving throw or be frightened until the end of my next turn. Okay. Mm. Uh, so you the, teleporting? Yeah, so this is my Eladrin face step. Oh. Okay. Dang. Mm. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And then I'll just try to use my movement and sprint. You uh, uh, use that ability and it, uh, the uh, beauty and fear that is instilled in the heart of uh, uh, S in this in this moment. The tiefling cowers away. Are they uh, conditionally frightened of you? Yep. So they cannot willingly move closer to me while I'm inside. You attempt to teleport so forward. Dead. And uh, you expect to land uh, 30 feet forward, but you instead stay right in place and fall oh. prone. And fall prone. Yes. I don't know. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, oh. So then you can still use half and then dash, right? I can still use half. Oh, one, two. I, as soon as you take your first step because of what I rolled, uh, I need to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, my God. On the oh. first square. Oh, On the first square, Joe. Oh, shit. Oh. It's a 10. Should I just let it roll? That's a yeah. tough one, dude. Oh, man, the first guy got cut in half, so... I don't think any of us... Well, <laughs> I'll he, reserve You that. all deduced that he can't, He was cut in half because he broke the rules. Let it ride. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's better. 16. With a 16, you are able to um, move forward, and as soon as you take your first step, what appeared to be a natural soil vanishes. <gasps> it was clearly an illusion, and you stare down what is clearly a deep pit. Uh, but you are able to catch yourself on the other side and pull yourself up using only an, uh, uh, an additional five feet of movement. So between prone taking 15, it would have been 10 to get up and on to the next square. So that is. So I have one, one, two, three. Yeah. Essentially making it difficult Wait, terrain to get so across. So five to move off, five to get on here. Yep. And then five to go here. That's correct. And then. And you still have your action, I believe. I do have my action. Okay. <clears throat> I would like to dash. Okay. But if I could just. Maybe go half speed. You can use yes. You can you can treat it like difficult uh, terrain to make a perception check. And I would want. like to check for traps as I go forward. Okay. Good ideas. Oh, that's uh, an eighteen. Uh, with an eighteen. Uh, no, no, sorry, seventeen. Uh, with a seventeen, you expect that there is a trap. <gasps> no, twenty. Oh. Sorry, I'm proficient. No, no, no. I, I just needed a fifteen or more. Okay. You, you know that there's something here, but you're not sure what it okay, is. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Mm. Damn. Uh, is that the conclusion of your turn? That's it. Okay, S is mechanically frightened of you, and so they need to make a wisdom saving throw at the end of their turn because they cannot move forward. Is that in that correct? They cannot move forward until the end of my next turn. Yeah. Okay. It just fades, so they don't have to resave. I It'll see. It'll just end. Okay, so yeah. they lose their turn. Babar, you're up. Oh shit! Okay, um, I am. Uh, I am going to basically try to do very similar to what the Walrus did. I, I guess I can action dash, but treat it as difficult terrain. Okay. And perceive okay. as I move forward, thirty feet. Okay. Uh, make a uh, perception check. Why does it say I have this at advantage? What the fuck? For what? Uh, because of I think stealing? I, I think I had that for Loxodon as well. Because of your plate armor? Oh, is it Keen Senses? Oh, it's Keen Senses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it is the sniff. 
Yeah, it's the great news. Uh, well, I still only got a 12. A 12 is not enough. You look and it feels like a straight shot. You're ready to go. Yeah, well then I'll just, uh, I will still use 30 feet of movement. Uh, I'm kind of thinking if I should like zigzag 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm not going to zigzag. I'm just going to go for it. It's as you reach that final square that you suddenly realize that <laughs> you've clicked onto some sort of pressure plate. Uh -oh. And all of a sudden you're surrounded by this magical aura. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. I'm very heavy. Um, and that includes, oh, no. Is it against being charmed or frightened? Uh, it is not. Ooh, 12. Uh, 12, I need you to make, um, uh, to roll 3d4 and take that amount of psychic damage. Okay. As the worst headache that has ever happened hit, uh, hits you, and you are compelled to hit the nearest trap nord towards you, but I'm gonna say that that's actually nullified because there, you do not see any traps nearby that you would have okay. to have triggered. Uh, then as a oh. bonus action, uh, action, bonus action, I will use, uh, I'm gonna steal a book out of, uh, a page out of Rich's book, and use my Misty Step, but flavor it as a giant Loxodon jump as I jump 30 feet forward. Uh, you endeavor to teleport. I'm casting the spell, Misty since, Step. Since you're attempting yep. to do that, you um, uh, are held by magic, uh, just as uh, the walrus was, and you fall prone on your ass. Man, I was really hoping that was random. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Z is up, and Z is going to race forward. <coughs> Uh, and let's find out what's going on here. Uh, they make it five squares forward. Mm. And they need to make a strength saving throw. Uh, they succeed. Uh, and you see as they reach that fifth square um, that all of a sudden two massive, like, almost uh, jaws clamp up like a bear trap, but they are able to just jump out of oh, the way shit. and make it to the sixth square. Um, and oh. then uh, those close and then immediately sink back down into the into the space. Do I, should, um, I, re yeah, should I be marking these? Uh, yeah, yeah. Put, uh, put like a B there for bear trap. Um, oh, and shit. that's going to be the conclusion of Zarek's turn. Uh, John claude Oh, actually, no, it's not. They're fucking... Uh, they're they're fine. So they're gonna dash and they're gonna continue on, on their way. Um, they're gonna make it two more squares, and then all of a sudden, uh, a needle hits hits one of them in the in the neck, and they Jesus, which uh, one? They they somehow manage to stave it off. Uh, so they make it an additional uh, the full distance, which is what one more square. Uh, what was their total should, movement? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Yeah, so they should get another thirty feet up. Thirty-five. Oh, they're going dashing. Yep. 5, 40, 10, 45, 15, 15, 20, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, well, what the heck did we get involved in? Uh, and all, I only have 25 feet of movement, uh, and I will try and work my way. Okay. Uh, one moment. I have to figure out. Uh, okay, uh, on the second square, I need you to make a uh, dexterity saving throw. 17. Ooh, nice. uh, 17. Uh, uh, you step uh, at, uh, onto what appears to be a mound of dirt, and you realize that your pa your foot is passing through it, and you make a, a desperate leap to uh, cross what is clearly a pitfall, uh, but you are able to make it to the other side. <gasps> uh, and you're able to achieve the full distance. Do you want to dash and continue to go for more? I would like to try. Okay. Uh, you make it the full distance, and then you make it one more square. I need you to roll... Uh, Dexterity saving throw. Oh, crushed it. 25. A 25. Um, <laughs> uh, I need you to roll 6d6 for me. Oh my gosh. What? When you land getting over the pitfall, it gives you a bit of a boost of speed, and you hear this click, and just behind you there's this enormous eruption, an explosion, but it does not send you flying, and you do not take the full damage. Take half of that in fire damage, oh, as this dynamite massively bursts behind Jeez. you. Turns out I am all about fried chicken. <laughs> 
His sick half. <laughs> Someone just, just on a family budget. <laughs> just, just yeah, exactly right. I'll say. I'll say. <laughs> oh, uh, B is going to race forward unless you want to do anything else with your turn. No, that's it. Uh, okay, B is going to make it two squares, and I'm sorry, they're going to make the full distance. I've, I've got these flipped. They make it all the way, the and movement? then they're going to dash and continue. Yep. What's the movement? Uh, th everyone's going to be 30. Okay. Uh, and then they also make it to the very end when all of a sudden they have to make a... They get a natural 20. They're fine. Uh, wow. a, uh, the gas that actually um, uh, erupted just moments again uh, earlier um, hits them, uh, but they stave through it. They seem to be running almost with their eyes closed, hoping to make it to the other side. Feltip, you're up. Uh, I'll look around and say, everybody, everybody do a good job, okay? I mean, uh, what do I mean if they pale bear him off, beard of the dark, take thou my blood, my flesh, my skin, and walk. As I'm going to turn into a gigantic, shaggy black goat. Nice. Uh, as, uh, it's a war horse, reflavored, and I'm just going to move 60 feet. Okay. In a straight uh, line. Let's find out if you encounter any traps. You encounter, um... Uh, one on the fifth square. Uh, I need to make a, con a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that I don't know. I think that's where I'm a Viking. Oh no! <laughs> that would be a terrible tragedy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Skill, the ability save, with the uh, oh, uh, sixteen. Uh, 16 is enough. You're able to stave off. Uh, you take the psychic damage, 3d4. Uh, roll it for yourself. Um, and <coughs> you do not feel compelled to race towards the nearest trap. Mm. Um, put T for toxic gas on that one or whatever you're doing. Yep, 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 yep. I take, damage. I take half of this damage. Exactly right. Okay. And once you cross the threshold of the sixth space, we're gonna do like this. Um, oh, I gotta see. Shit. I gotta figure out the war horse. Okay. Uh, so he would have gotten to... Five, ten, six spaces. It was here that there was a bomb. Uh, so he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Me? Yep. I gotta pull up my war horse. All thing. Uh, dexterity. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thirteen. Thirteen is just enough. Roll sixty-six and take half that, but you're not blown in a random direction. Damn. So two. Okay. I'll, I'll roll this. And while that happens, Luna L is going to sprint forward. Um, go uh, two, two, two. Let's see how far they're going to go. Um, on the first space, they're going to uh, have to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, they fail. Uh, they take the full uh, 66 damage, which kills them, actually, because I'm not going to do that. So they actually <laughs> land on that, and I would have rolled a scatter die, and they would have uh, uh, fallen a certain distance. But as soon Where as they you, step like, their forward. Body to land? Um, yeah, 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 why not? Uh, that's oh gonna be... God. Uh, they fly southwest backwards, uh, uh, 20 feet. <laughs> uh, you watch as their body erupts and disappears into nothingness. <laughs> Glissy, you see this chaos all around you. What do you do with yourself? Um, okay, so are there actually people be beside me? Yeah, there's one person. Oh, okay. And this person's over here. But dead. No, 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 no they're, they're frozen in fear. Oh, okay. So yeah, they missed their turn. Uh, I'm going to use my movement to move up. Okay. Uh, Are you going half speed no. to check? No. How much do you have? 30. On the second square up, uh, you need to make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Oh, I am not dexterous. Eight. Eight. Uh, it's a bear trap. Uh, these huge teeth come up and clamp onto you. I need to oh, roll. Oh, God, fuck out! Oh my god! 3d12 oh uh, uh, damage, 3D and you 12? are grappled and restrained. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! New at Arby's! <laughs> Bogo Tuesdays! Get a Bogo beef and cheddar! <laughs> We've got the glitz! <laughs> uh, oh, you're grappled and restrained. You can use your action to attempt to undo that. Uh, yeah, I will. Okay, so you, realizing that you're uh, uh, in the middle of these teeth, you attempt to push. I need you to make a strength uh, saving throw to see if you can. I guess it would it be just be ability check or a strength saving throw to get out of a bear trap. I'm gonna go uh, saving throw. It's uh, acrobatics or athletics, right? Is it an escape DC? If it's an escape DC, it's an escape yeah. DC. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ac acrobatics, acrobatics or athletics. Sixteen. 
Uh, 16 is enough. You are able to free yourself after uh, having gotten clamped. You feel them click back into position and you know that they're primed for another go, but you are you have the remainder of your movement. I'll take the remainder of my movement. The base is uh, oh god, right my little leg. And you have a bonus action if you want to use that. I do have a bonus action. I don't know if there's anything I can do, <laughs> but I do have one. Let's see. What are these things in a bonus action? Don't teleport. I was thinking I wouldn't. Oh, my, my little thing glitched. Now I'm not going to use it because I can't keep me honest, Rokin. All right, That's monsters. Uh, Kay is going to um, go at half speed to make a perception check. His head's going to fall off. They're going to fail and they are going to um, uh, walk forward three squares and then they're going to go diagonally behind Glitzy, seeing that she was able to walk oh, on that path. And then really stop right behind the, uh, uh, right behind her. Um, uh, and that'll be Kay's turn. Uh, we get to the top of the round, and you can look up, and you see this braided cord. The fire is already burning underneath it, and it's quickly fraying and snapping. Oh, you God. expect that there are probably only three remaining turns before... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cool. And that's cool. as things are heating oh, up, we are fucked. you worry that the DC might be going up as well. Walrus, you're up. This is so bad. Um... So I'm gonna move five, and can I now see what's? I know that something's here. C- can I see what's in front of me? Uh, if you're going at half speed, you can make a perception check. No, I, I already perceived this. So I'm going normal speed. Oh I yeah, perceived- yeah, 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 you already perceived yeah. that. That's yeah. there. So you could endeavor to jump over it. You could go into an adjacent square. I would roll random, uh, uh, randomly. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to wall rush jump over it. Okay. Um, because of how jump rules work, and those of you who are enjoying <laughs> Pax Unplugged with me know I was looking up jump rules. Uh, it's just your strength. So what is your strength uh, ability score? Uh, ten. Ten. You would be able to jump it without me make, forcing you to make a check. Okay. So you land. It still consumes that amount of movement, but you jump over whatever that trap happens to be, and you continue on your way. So then I'm dashing. So I started here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You land just there. Okay. And then and then I you can. can yep. Now, if I go half my movement, can it, for the for my dash, can I make a perception check? Yes. Or, you okay. can with your dash. You can go half your movement with a perception check, or you can. Um, Go the full distance and, and risk it. Push your Okay, up. I'm going to slow down. Oh, okay, I jumped over where the fuck that was. Uh, I'm going to perceive, attempt to perceive. Uh, 23. 23. Uh, three squares ahead of you, there appears to be um, something that you've never seen before. Uh, but there's a like body on the top of whatever this mound is. You, you can tell that it's got a tripwire. Oh. One, two, uh... This, oh god, I don't know which direction I should go. <clears throat> so it's one, two, if I jump, I can't go further than that because I'm out of movement. So I don't, I don't even think I can go there because of the diagonal, so I'm just going to go... I will say that going diagonally comes with its own risks because of the obvious maths of, like, you're perceiving what's directly in front of you. Who knows what traps might be to your left or your right. Right. Um, I think I'm going to wait right there. You, you pause, skidding to a halt, and looking down. Uh, make one more perception check for me. Nine. Nine. You don't know what's under there. You've not seen a trap of all the things happening behind you, even though you're in the lead. Uh, there's no um, way of to know what this effect was. It hasn't been seen before. Okay, that's my turn. Silas S is going to uh, now that they're no longer afraid. Uh, they're they're realizing that they are far behind and they're just going to sprint forward. Uh, and they are going to on the sixth square. Uh, they are going to uh, endeavor to make a uh, wisdom saving throw as magical gas. Well, keep uh, uh, here, just so I know where he's going. Then they I'm do not succeed. <laughs> what is the nearest? Uh, yeah, There's I'm, one next to me, but I'm prone over top of it. There's one <laughs> over here. Uh, there's one. Yeah, that's the closest. That's probably the next closest. The closest. Unless he can occupy the same space as me, but what it is, sounds like what it's, is the one underneath you? It's the same thing. It's the, the exact. Bomb? No, it was the one yes. that made me oh. run to the nearest, but there was no nearest it's at the time. Is that a bomb behind? Uh, this was a bear trap. That was a bear trap. He's going to use his, the rest of his movement to go to the oh bear my trap. God. Flying, turning around and getting compelled in this way, um, they're going to. 
and not toast. save. They take 3d12 damage, and you watch them get oh, punched so right toast. at the neck, blood spraying oh. out in all directions, oh. and it eventually resets, but you know they're long dead by the time the body falls. That is the conclusion of Silas. Babar, you're up. Um, so when you jump, is it just one jump? It's one jump. Let's say. So if I dash, I, I didn't look up whether you can do two jumps in there. No, no, I'm just because I want to stay off the ground for as much as I possibly can. I want to dash and jump. Okay. And I don't. So want, yeah, a I'm, long jump you need to move at least like ten feet or twenty. Yeah, feet? Yeah, it's ten feet. Ten, ten so feet. Long jump is ten. So feet. I got to stand up and use half my movement, which yep. leaves me with fifteen. 15 left, but then yeah. if I dash, I get thirty. Yep. Yeah, that's right. So I should be able to jump some so of that. So you have forty-five feet. Right. And as long as you move ten, then you can jump. I think your full strength score, which is twenty. Or plus five. I don't know what. 20. So I'll move 10 and see if anything happens before I jump. On the second square. Bastard! <laughs> oh, I no. need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh, oh you're, you're good. Sure. You're well, bad. unless I get a one, right? Uh, oh, whoops, I'm getting all markered up here. Uh, I got a 19 total. Okay, um, the, uh, uh, you are about to jump, and because of the force of your jump, it is fortunate because the tripwire that triggers, oh. uh, all of a sudden, oh. a massive catapult flies oh. forward. You take the brunt of it, but you don't take any damage. Instead, it just takes five feet of your movement. Oh, you. so then I'll fall, f uh, I won't jump quite as far. Exactly right, it wouldn't, it, but it would have pushed you back a considerable distance. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, but you said with the jump I get a total of 45 instead of the 30. So y with the dash you, you would have had If you to move 10 feet, you can jump the distance of your strength score. So, so right, but I lost five, so we'll call it 10, 15, and then I would have five more movements. So you got up here, oh, you no. moved 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, right. 30, and you have 45 total, right? At, if I dash and jump. Yes. Yeah. So, so you can keep going, but you... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. We'll call it 40 because I lost five feet. Yeah? Yep. Oh, yes. Okay. You, you, there, that is where you find yourself. Well done. Um, Zarek, uh, Z is up. Where is Z? Z's over here by Felpip. Right next to the giant goat. Um, they're going to... Yeah, they, I think that they're just going to bolt, uh, bolt straight forward. Um, let's find out how they do. Uh, they make it five squares before they are hit with a needle in the neck, um, which forces them to use the remaining 35 feet of their movement to move uh, literally south of oh. me. They, they turn around, they're confused, they get hit, oh, and they just no. wobble around and suddenly fly and uh, uh, use the remainder of their movement to uh, go in a uh, random direction. Um, they are, uh, uh, they pull it out, and they're horrified to find themselves almost back where they started from. Uh, that's the conclusion of their turn. John Claude, you're, John Claude, you're up. Well, I see, friend, that looked pretty bad. <laughs> How about you get in front of me and sprint as far as you can? I cast suggestion on uh, Z. <laughs> Okay, what is it? <laughs> uh, what I'm attempting to do is have them uh, get in front of my lane and sprint as far as they can on their next turn. They hear your suggestion and they attempt to resist. What kind of saving throw do oh, I have to make? Oh, it's a wisdom uh, saving throw. Wisdom save 16. Very clever. Uh, wisdom, uh, they get a um, 13. No plus, probably. No plus. Uh, I'll then use my n just standard movement to try and go 25. Okay, uh, let's see if you make it. Uh, you make it one square before I need to move you to make Shit. a dexterity saving throw. With a 12, it's not enough. Um, you feel so confident that this person's gonna run in front of you and sort of clear the way for you, having felt the magic lock in, that you don't realize as your leg goes through one of these illusions and you fall a uh, full 10 feet down into a pit. Uh, oh, you are no. going to take uh, 2d6 bludgeoning damage and uh, you are now finding yourself at the bottom of this smooth uh, 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 uh -oh. shaft, for lack of a better word. Well, out of the frying pan and into the deep fat fryer. <laughs> That's pretty good. 
It's pretty good, Mace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this character. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Uh, B's gonna go and uh, B's just gonna race forward. Actually, you know what? They're gonna take their time. Uh, perception did check. I take, did I take damage? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, 2d6 bludgeoning oh, damage. 2d6, I'm sorry. Uh, do it to yourself. This is going to be. Uh, they make it two squares. Uh, or they see that there is a trap two squares in front of them. Okay. But we don't know what. Uh, he, he does not know what. Um, but he is going to um, go to the right, and I'm going to quickly see if he hits a trap. He does. Jeez. And that's going to be a strength saving throw for them. Uh, they fail, and they're hit by a catapult. Uh, they take 3d8 bludgeoning damage, and they are knocked back 30 feet. But oh. uh, given the paper thinness of these NPCs, you instead just see their skeleton get knocked out of their skin as they flap <laughs> back in a disgusting oh, manner. No. And they have a blood streak that sprays all out in all directions in an extremely violent manner. That's the conclusion of Jeez. the story. Felt hit, you're up. I'm gonna look as I see Jack Claw. <laughs> Dis- disappear. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna see. Actually, I'm a large. Can I get like a large token for for my guy? Uh, oh um, yeah, you're that large. That can't be good. Like here, I'm like right here. You could have potentially triggered twice as many traps. Oh yeah. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at Z. Let's put him on the. Put him on the thing. I'm gonna look at Z, and I'm oh, going to. Stay. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna look at Z, and I'm gonna. <laughs> I look down at John Cloud and say, "I didn't come here to make friends." <laughs> and I'm going to trot up to Z and try to grapple him in my my mouth. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, how's that fucking work? I. It's a contest, right? It's an athletics contest, or can I make an attack? Uh, Grapple is an athletics contest. It's an it's an attack action. And you're just choosing to grapple instead of make a hit, and so it's a contest. Your athletics versus his athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Um, I get a 13, and I'm gonna plus zero all these guys, so I get a 13. You have a pretty good plus. I get a 13. I believe that I had to meet it or beat it, or did you grapple me? You Hold had on. to meet it, right? I, nothing changes if it's equal. Yeah. Okay, nothing changes. Um, he is already starting to follow the will of uh, Jean-Claude. And uh, he's able to push you away, almost stiffing arm, uh, stiff-arming you. And you, ah! Uh, <laughs> and so I'm just going to use the rest of my movement to go forward. 60 feet. All right. <laughs> one moment. So it'll yeah, actually... 55. Uh, 55, yeah. Uh, you make it five oh. squares before I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. <clears throat> He's in two lanes, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I haven't thought about that. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I'm happy to take twice the traps. Uh, uh, dexterity saving throw? Yeah. Well, with using squeezing rules... Five. Squeezing rules? Yeah, let me look at the squeezing rules. <laughs> squeezing rules? Yeah, there are squeezing rules if you want to get really technical about playing five. your Dungeons and Dragons. Take 66 fire damage and roll a d8 for me. Well, I keep... <laughs> I'm thinking you're saying 66. You know what I mean? 6 D6. Like, uh, I absolutely get blasted out of my uh, my wild shape. 10, 16, 20, 23 points of damage. Uh, that's exactly what I rolled. That's wild. So then I take 21 points of damage as felt that. Ouch. Uh, you watch all of you and as this black go- uh, goat erupts into flames like a nuclear oh, bomb you're going, going exactly off. backwards. And in the air, it expl- <laughs> uh, he suddenly shifts uh, flame and flaming fur f- flying in all directions. You go uh, uh, 15 feet uh, in the direction that you went. Not too bad. And that's where you land prone. It was just a prank, bro. <laughs> it was just a prank. It was just a prank. You was still here? have whatever you have. Well, he was like, what, if you have any more movement, if Sorry, you have uh, too, I can yeah. bonus action. Um, I am unhinged now. I can probably bonus action a spell. Is there a bonus action? Uh, I, I don't think I can even cancel my bonus action. You're on right? deck, Glitzy. Yeah. All that. right. I'm just gonna go forward. <laughs> Do you uh, want to proceed for traps, or are you no, gonna, I'm just go, gonna move you're going to go for it? Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. I rolled, I've been rolling really hot the number of traps. You actually make it on um, the first uh, 30 feet without issue. Oh, nice. nice. Uh, and now I'm going to roll again, assuming you're dashing and moving forward. Yeah, that was the plan. You know What's there's the one C? there, that's a uh, catapult, so you know you probably want to jump over that. Yeah, I would like to jump over there. <laughs> yeah, you can clear it, as long as you have like five feet of jump, yeah. I, you jump over that, yeah. and on the fifth Wait, square. Wait, what do you need to jump? This is your strength score. I'm sure yours My is at least 10. My strength is plus zero. Yeah, which is What's 10. Your, yeah, 10. Yeah, that's okay. the fifth square. She's got one more square of movement. On the fifth square, I need you to make a strength saving throw. I'm going to go ahead and use my inspiration that you gave me yeah. for winning that yeah. one thing. That was a complete waste. Um, a three. <laughs> Actually, no, it was a five. Because <laughs> it was my first one. <laughs> I'm sorry, let's see. Take 3d8 bludgeoning damage, and you are knocked back as this catapult emerges oh, from no. the ground, smacking you, and you fly back. It's like in one of those animes where somebody gets hit really hard and they slide on their feet in a long rail-like direction. Um, you are going back 30 feet. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, God. Well, um, you're not that far behind. You have actions and, and bonus actions. If you want to do anything else with your turn. Did I dash with Bo my action? Oh, you have dash. Bonus. So you have a bonus if you want to do it. I don't have any bonus actions. The K is up. But thank you, though. No problem. I'm, just, I'm trying. Uh, K is going to go, um, seeing that there has been a lot of movement here, very confidently going to walk up behind Glitzy again. 25. Hey, you, why don't you fuck off and take your own path, you little bitch? <laughs> Kai helps those who help themselves. <laughs> um, oh, I can't see behind past Sorry. your hand. Um, there's a couple of catapult traps. Uh, they're going to attempt to move diagonal up to the right and then dash and continue forward. That was and 25. 30. Well, could Not he have, really. could he have moved, okay. So they'll have dashed when they moved, made the diagonal. I am right? very short as a fairy, so they could potentially jump over me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep with it. So, uh, the diagonal action being what it is, at the beginning of the dash, they can move an additional five squares, I think. And it's on that final square that they're going to need to make a needle constitution saving throw. It hits them. They pull it out, uh, and they are not compelled to move in a scatter-like direction. Um, that's the conclusion of their turn. Top of the round. Walrus. Very cool. Um, if I have five feet of jump, standing jump, does that give me enough clearance just to, do, to jump this one square? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna jump as part of my movement. Ooh. One, two, three. Um. I think I'm gonna go half speed and just keep perceiving. Okay, make a perception check. Nine. Uh, that is not enough. You do not know if there are any traps oh. in front of you. So then given that, then if I dash, I can use, I can decide to either go if I dash and then go my movement again, do I get another check? Or do I get a, is it basically for every 30 feet, like every full? Yeah, feet? that's the okay. intent, that's the intent. Got it, so then what I will do is I will now dash okay. with, and do another perception check. Damn, brutal. Yeah, seven, okay. Um, I'm just gonna go. It looks clear, you're starting to run, race forward and you feel like you've entered a trench and you can see that line getting closer and closer while uh, just under it, the fraying uh, cord is starting to break a break a break away. Uh, you make it three squares forward from the current uh, position that you're in before I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Is that just your last square? Did I make it that far? If I, uh, if three I squares. Win. Three squares. Uh, I was assuming that you meant from, from the dash. Oh, oh yeah. I should know where to put the trap. That's all. 
I think right here. I thought. I thought yeah. So. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, put a B there because you jump and land over a primed bear trap. It Ooh, oh. just underneath you, and you can almost feel the oh. bottom of your robe spray, uh, oh. but it does not stick into your muscle, bone, or flesh, and you land uh, uh, just at the corner, ready to sprint forward uh, for more. Anything else on your turn? That's it. Bad bar. Uh, so if I understand correctly, I can dash for 16, jump for 20. It's a total of 80 movement. No, no. you can never exceed your your, your okay. distance. That's what I wanted to make sure. Then I'm going to take 10, 10 feet of movement and see what happens before I jump. Okay, let's see if you hit anything. Uh, you do not hit anything. Oh. Now I'm going to jump 20 feet to not touch those squares and attempt to avoid contact with the ground. That typically would be a wise choice. And the fifth square from where you started was where the trap was. So you went 20 and then you went 40. So, so I've gone 50 movement, which means I have 10 more movement for a total oh, of 50 total. movement? Well, no, no, no it, it was, was 10 dashing. and then 20. I'm dashing. So you've only gone 30. Oh, yeah, 30. Sorry, I have 30 more. Where were you? No, 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 no. You've gone. No, you've only gone 30. If I move 10 here. and I jump 20. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a five, so it should be one, two, three, four, five. That's where the trap is. Oh, so that's where you landed on the trap. 30 should be six squares. So if yeah. you, one, two, You're one, two, one three, four, yeah. Trap. So this one was your jump, and it landed on the square that has the trap. I'm sorry, that just is how the, the dice roll. Uh, I'm gonna need you to make a strength saving throw. Sure. 17. 17, um, you land and a catapult goes off, but because you were jumping, you were able to angle it, so you shoot straight up and then land back directly in your space. You seem oh. safe and fine to go. Then I still have 30 feet of movement. Exactly right. I'm just gonna keep going. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You're feeling that line, it's just there. Uh, let me see if I, you made it those remaining things. You do. Uh, there was no traps on that entire path. You're That's rushing all I got. forward. No bonus actions. Um, Zarek Z is up. Uh, they are going to sprint forward as well. You're theoretically compelled to get in front of me and sprint as far as <laughs> You're right! Uh, where are you? You're I mean, I mean, He's there, Zier, yeah. Z is You're here. Uh, so they just go one, two, three, four. Um, they attempt to, but it's on the square <laughs> immediately adjacent to uh, 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 Jean-Claude uh, Jean that he is going to fail at a uh, toxic gas trap. Oh. The wisdom saving throw fails. He takes three, four psychic damage and is immediately compelled to go into the nearest trap. But because these uh, 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 minions have absolutely no health whatsoever, he dies from the needle and the body falls down next to you, John Claude. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <coughs> That's the conclusion of Zarek. That was Zarek's story. John Claude, what's the rest of yours? Oh. Well, nobody defeats John Claude in the courtroom <laughs> or in a dead man's wonderland. Uh, <laughs> That's a very, very good reference. <laughs> and, I, and I try and, uh, if I can, uh, I now have a flying speed, and I'd like to just try and fly out of the hole onto the lip and then okay. continue to run forward. With the, with the flying speed, you've seen that teleportation and uh, looking around watching the chaos, because remember, there are or, dozens and dozens yeah. of other people mm -hmm. that are also attempting to use their own racial features. Mm -hmm. uh, the flight is the same effect as teleport. It knocks uh, your, your uh, wings seem to get clipped almost, and you immediately mm -hmm. land back on the ground. But you give it a shot, and it seems that you're able to use your flight to at least get to the uh, lip of the pitfall and are able to get up Don't and out without any issues. So take uh, 10 feet of movement from your uh, current amount of movement and okay. get in uh, to make it to the next square. Okay. Um, so I have 15 feet of movement left. Oh, but after I said that, I meant to cast Bardic Inspiration on myself. Um, <laughs> uh, Come on, John Claude. <laughs> you can do this. Come on, John Claude. Uh, and I'll try and move. So, 15, so five. Is this, he's here. Yeah. This is just is this, this is a difficult turn. Uh, hold on, hold on. Where are you when you started? Right to behind. I was in the pit, yep. and then ten brought me here. Mm -hmm. So I have fifteen feet of movement to get here theoretically. I'd say that you could make it there. I need to make a dexterity save. Before. No, oof the. Oh. 
21. A 21 oh, succeeds. Mm. Take half of 6d6 six damage as this massive oh, explosion oh, no. almost erupts all around you. However, the person behind you, K, is not. Is that K? Yeah. yeah. K is not as successful, and they are blown Ooh. to bits and they fly oh, back, um, turning into uh, nothing but uh, red jello. You're on that square. I'm waiting for it to dry. Six. All right. Uh, and I will attempt to sprint the rest of my movement forward. Okay. Are Which you going to use a perception check to go half speed, or are you going to uh, nah, take some yeah, risk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just help it. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just cruising. Um, it's only five. That's, it's only five. Oh, I only right, have right. twenty-five. Yeah, On so right the there. third square from where you started. Yep. yep. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom third saving square. throw as uh, magical gas emerges from all around you. Your feet clicking on a pressure plate you didn't quite notice at the time. Use a use a twist. Just use a twist. Why is it twist? <laughs> natural one. That's, there's oh, at least. Ten. ten. Oh. You uh, take 3d4 psychic damage. Oh no. Uh, oh no, so that's not good. How much movement do you have remaining? None. In, on, none? No, you used it up. Well, if I hit no, if oh, I hit on the third, so got ten so I would have 10 feet of movement. You will turn around and run back into the bomb in a moment. Yeah, you, you can't had get just, there. You just before it. You can't get there. Okay. Oh my god. Well, pretty good on this damage. <laughs> uh, and that's just full oh, of damage. Oh shit. Huh? From psychic poison or whatever. Mm hmm. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, but you do not hit the bomb. Right before you reach the bomb, you <laughs> what am I doing? And you realize that you'd been compelled by the, by the needle to flip around. Oh, good heavens, you what turn, am I doing? Realizing that you've lost 10 feet from your goal to not die in this nightmare battlefield. Uh, Felpip, you're up. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna look. Her, I'm gonna look at you. They no hard feelings, right? I mean, oh I, no! I, I didn't try to. I, no, no, no. I no, didn't no, try no, to no, drag no. drag another guy on top of you or nothing. That, that was on his own. And I'm going to. Oh, he'll be him off. As I'm going to turn into a goat again, and just try to leap over. Uh, so I'm gonna go ten feet, and then leap over the bomb. Um. And then uh, move an additional. I can move 60 as my movement. So over the hell are long. You make it four squares, and then I need you to make a um, dexterity saving throw. Uh, I fail. Oh, you uh, take 3d12 uh, slashing damage, and you are grappled and restrained. Bear trap. Bear trap. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is knocks me out of it. 3d12? Can't, come on, if I don't get 19 damage. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? I am me! Yeah. You were six off of max. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit! There's blood everywhere. Yeah. So hold on, I need, god, to, holy I need fuck. to take over damage. So 19 just there, and so the I take an, an addition. It is 11. a miracle that you have this health pool. <laughs> oh my god. Because you would be dead six yeah, ways a no, Sunday, I man. I had almost 40 additional hit That's points. That's insane. Yeah, because of Wild Shape. I love Wild Shape. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I think you, you don't have your action anymore. No, that's it. That was okay. That's my, you that's you are tire. stuck and you can feel the warm blood tickling <laughs> in the inside of your clothes. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Glitzy, how you doing? Okay. This is really. <laughs> This is really scary, and I, I don't want to deal with all of this. But I really want to be a pop star, so I'm just gonna run forward. Um, you yeah, know where you know these, know these yeah, but I do are. know where those are, so I'm gonna try and jump over those. Ten. Twenty. Yep. Twenty-five. You can 30, jump. Thirty-five. Yep, because yep, I want to. Spread. Forty. Forty-five. You're all right. Fifty. Fifty-five. Sixty. You're all right. Holy shit! Jesus. <sighs> okay. Oh. Oh, God of pop stars. I don't know whatever your name is. Uh, Simon Cowell, please protect me while I'm here. The, um, you hear this loud twang over the screams of your 
friends, the you, the fellow inmates that you only knew uh, in prison for uh, perhaps weeks, days, months, years. Uh, you see people exploding, people people uh, uh, attempting to drag others and throw them into bear traps. You see pit people disappear into the floor through uh, illusionary uh, uh, pitfalls. All above all of this, you hear this twang, and all of a sudden you see a single red thran, uh, thread between the uh, the band holding these last. Um, uh, uh, counterweights. It seems that the fire has burned through all of them. There is very, very little time remaining before they uh, close off of this m- insane race that you find yourself a part of. Walrus, you're up. Do I think that this is the last round, or we'll have one more round after this? That's a great question. Tricks, guys. <laughs> We'd get across this line, right? This is interesting. So, do I just run for it? Uh, yeah. There's no way, because you'd be fucked. Um, <laughs> if I yeah, perceive, yeah, yeah, yeah. he might just be. Yeah. Yeah. He might just be fucked. Derek, Derek did tell us of, uh, to prepare for He said for this shit character. was deadly as fuck. Yeah. I think I need to go for it. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. You make it onto the third square. <laughs> I need you to make a strength saving throw. What's the range of your aura? Uh, it's only like ten feet. I will double check, but it's pretty. Uh, it. it. I'm within ended. ten feet. That's it. I'm within ten there. feet. Yeah, ten feet. Ten feet. Nineteen plus whatever plus. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you lose five feet of movement, but a catapult springs up, Woo-hoo! and you're able to take the brunt of it with your shoulder, and it immediately claps back down, primed again, but you are able to safely move across that square. Now, let me see if I, uh, as you cross the threshold of six squares, <laughs> you are able to continue to progress. <gasps> you just, ah, and you <laughs> jump over the line and you slide. You see that there are very few others who have made it uh, at this point, but there <gasps> are those who have also crossed this threshold, and with a sigh of relief, you feel the safety of being across the threshold. <gasps> a bar. I moved 10 feet. I basically just have to roll a one or a two. I jump across the finish line. <laughs> yes. You need to make a dexterity saving no! throw <laughs> on the on the first square. Oh, oh. oh brutal! Oh. This is not where I'm liking. This one here. Come on! What one good I, roll. What kind of trap is it? I'll just mark it. Dex? I don't know. We're Bomb. gonna find out here in a second. You good? Twenty. Oh! Take half of 66 damage, but you do not okay. have to roll the scatter die. I will happily die. take the damage. Uh, that's going to be 11, 12, 13. Another 11 is uh, 24 plus 5 is 29. Half of that is basically 15. You hear this enormous eruption behind you, and you can feel the heat on the back of your head, on the back of your arm. Blasting across the finish line. You are blasted, that's the thing. And you're smoking, you roll across the line, realizing that you are perhaps safe, at least for this round. Uh, That is the conclusion of your turn. John Claude. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm gonna go to a felt pip who's just had a massive <laughs> gargantuan. He's like, he's like, he's all, ah, his bones are broken. We have twists. We have twists. Well, felt pip. You physically don't have enough. You were a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I, I try with all my Did money. Did I tell you about it? <laughs> I'm Wait, you, 15. Do you still have any, do you have any wild shapes left? No. No. Oh, fuck. You jump across 20, the other... 25. B- okay. And you, uh... Do you use your dash to continue? If I made a death form. You didn't hit a trap. Oh I, yes, dash. I use my dash to continue. Dash like your life depends on it, because it does. 5. 10. 15. 20, 25. Make a. There it is. Dexterity saving throw. 
Uh, we're talking pitfall territory. Natural one. We're twisting it. <laughs> we're twisting it. Roll a different ah! roll, a different roll, roll these pretty ones. Well, no. A lover's rose different. gave us a twist. This thank you. We oh, that's thank you. <gasps> thank you, chat. I hope you all still got your bets. Okay, 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 okay. So dexterity saving throw 22. 22, you do not fall in. Uh, do you do not damage? take the damage. You are able to glide across the square nice. and get to your, your final square oh, here. no. So we'll see if you... <laughs> oh, that is going to be brutal. I hope you have one more turn. Uh, okay. As a bonus action... Bonus action. Um, I shout out... Phil Pip, if you ever need it, take my card. <laughs> John Paul <laughs> Delafonte. Yeah! Oh. And I toss back, uh, and I swim through the air, I fly out uh, in, in engraved, uh, in engraved business card. Uh, it says Jean Claude Elefante, but the elephant is crossed out and I haven't fixed it yet. Uh, Jean Claude Cacafonte. No, please, please. Uh, I give you Bardic. Chanticleer. Jean Claude Chanticleer. Dear Dark One, get even at the watermark. <laughs> <laughs> I puke a blow. Water over it. <laughs> and a tear rolls down my <laughs> tear. Oh, God, Felpin's not going to make it. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Is it my turn? You got it. Is he no longer restrained? No, I'm restrained. Oh, yeah, you are restrained. Uh, you're <laughs> so you you got to stop so by making fucked. a spring saving throw. Now, what I will say is what? you just need to beat the escape uh, DC, which currently is 16. So that's enough. Is this free though? Check. Does he get? Uh, or is this, this is free. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it cost any. We have movement. twist. The free object bonus. interaction. <laughs> We're twisting. Oh god. Strength. Uh, well, it's at. Is it athletics or acrobatics it's, or just it's strength? It's either. Right. We decided it was a grapple, so acrobatics, acrobatics. or athletics. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you gotta be good. Skills. Where's where my skills? Like, Acrobatics out. is a 15. I'm gonna oh, use I right. as I as I'll, <laughs> and I'll take the business card, card. <laughs> <laughs> and try to jam it in. Adding five. Oh, I get out. Oh, I get out. Nice. Okay. I mean, no, you still have your movement. Thank you, Doug. Uh, I'm sorry. It's a terrible tragedy that I tried to betray you. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean by free. Because without his action, he wouldn't be able to death. Exactly yeah. right. Well, Jean Claude okay. breaks another that, out of. That uh, should have cost your action. Uh, so you still have your full movement, but yeah. it did cost your action to do that. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna oh, go with a straight line. I'm okay. barely gonna make it. Nothing. Wow. No way. Is that it? That's it. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna do a bonus action. Go. Uh, behemoth. <laughs> Please don't. I, I don't wanna die anymore. <laughs> I'm the healing all, word. I'm taking all that. Oh. I'm taking all that. Healing word. Okay, let's see. You're up. Okay. Well, I saw what the walrus did, so I'm gonna jump to where the walrus was because I know that spot was safe. I was this way. Yeah, I know. That's so why I'm trying to jump there. Here. Yeah. I'm saying you should just jump that way, right? I I don't want to go diagonally because I know that diagonally is fucky. Getting we're told. Uh, getting going left or right. There yeah. will come a risk just crossing yeah, this, into that lane. This one's unknown. But so, if you jump but over if it, if I'm yeah. jumping over that spot because I don't know what's yeah. there and jumping oh, to a safe spot, oh, you wouldn't spot. have the distance to jump diagonally, but you could jump yeah, horizontally. Yeah, so I'm just trying to jump from there okay. to there because I know no that this was safe. No running jump gets her there safely. And I then agree. I want to jump over the catapult trap. Okay. And then use my movement because I know all these spaces were safe because you walked on them already. Yeah. To get to You're the. Good. If that works. That's brains. That's fucking glitzy that's brains. Clever. Very nice. <gasps> you have a tremendous amount of respect for oh the explosive God. display you've seen on this battlefield, and as you cross, you're just smiling. I got this. So I had to listen to that truth. dead guy. We have a zero. I told myself that I would leave the last round to chance. So whether or not you get an additional round to attempt to make it across is based on this d20 roll, and it's a death saving throw. Okay, roll it publicly. I yes. have to. You do have you to. have the Do you have the skulls and the hearts? Do you I don't. You, I don't. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <clears throat> Quick question. Do we, looking at this whole layout, do we get any kind of sense that if these things Shit, fall and gong, that 
the sound would trigger something bad, or... You get the sense that when this b bond breaks, that those counterweights will fall, that it will no longer be possible to cross this battlefield. Oh, okay. And All you right. watch as the threads break and twist away, and you can see but a silver strand there in the center. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's the mean? Heat, the heat is hitting it. It is almost there on the break, uh, breaking. I need to get a 10 or higher. If I do, then you will get an additional round. That's it. That's it. Seventeen. The dice have decided. Oh my God. Jean Claude, you're up. <laughs> Top of the round. <sighs> the screams are getting fewer. The explosions <laughs> quieter. There's dulling <laughs> happening. There, most people are either dead or barely struggling to get across the side at this point. You can see that some people have been dazed for this entire time, poisoned, other traps that you haven't even seen, but. You all, all that matters is getting across before this final uh, thread breaks. I sprint as fast as I can. I'm not even careful about it. <sighs> How many squares? He already has one, two, three. 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 There are three. You see a third square in. Oh! oh my god! I was gonna say, if, if there was any time to go slow and perceive, it's only when you I'm have three. I'm too scared. I'm scared. There's a yeah. silver strand above me. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh! Oh no. This one, this one, this one is one more for you. Here we go. Okay. DC 16. That looks good from here. What's what is strength? it? What's your strength? Uh, strength you might not have. We have twists. Just twist him, twist him, twist him. I use my own oh. business card. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He has yeah, 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 You notice the spelling error and you tear it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh! oh. You, you get hit by this catapult, but you don't care. You push into it and rolling over you. <gasps> you find yourself on the other side of the line, and you look over, and you see that Felpip is struggling. Felpip. Man. Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> We've had a lot of things break our way, Felpip. I don't know, brother. I'm going to take the first. <laughs> I roll two ones. Make a dexterity saving oh! throw as a bomb explodes the moment you put your phone down. Your no! Phone down. Oh, no! oh, oh, that's, that's good. good. Pretty good. Pretty that's good. That's pretty good. That's gonna pass. Uh, How much health do you have? Someone roll sixty-six damage for him. Yeah, it's more that like I'm worried about his total health. Yeah. yeah. He healing worded though. Yeah. Oh, he, got he, healing healing. Healing. he got max healing. He got max Exactly sixteen. Exactly oh, sixteen. Two. Unreal. Seven, so I'm going to take half, oh, and, no, yeah. and no and toss. Half and no toss. Yeah. Half He's and no toss. It explodes. 18, 9 points of damage. How many squares does he go? He's got five left. one, two, three, four in the danger zone, and the fifth is safe. So there's four danger zones. How much damage? Nine points. Nine points of damage. And that, that's half. He's clear. Oh! 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 <laughs> the thread breaks, and you turn, and you watch. There are dozens of people still on the battlefield, sprinting as quickly as possible, some getting hit by catapults, others <laughs> narrowly dodging other uh, exploding landmines, and all of a sudden, as soon as these counterweights fall, they trigger the magic. Everyone inside of the battlefield feels their <coughs> belt suddenly clinch in the exact same way that you saw earlier when that person broke Jesus. the rules. <laughs> and you hear the simultaneously scr uh, uh, simultaneous scrunch and screams of terror. They don't last very long. But the five of you are still alive. <laughs> so much had to break our way. <laughs> for that to work. You're a menace. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, what, what, what a terrible tragedy so much life lost. <laughs> but that's not where we'll end tonight's Aww. session. <laughs> Somewhere watching are a group of people referred to as the clients. Shadowy faces staring down, placing their bets. The first trial is completed, <clears throat> says one. Many powerful competitors this year, would you not agree? I believe in Glitzy. Always bet on the one with bombs, another <laughs> voice speaks. Glitzy, it might be time to take a break from drugs for a day or so. Kind of give the old brain a good etch-a-sketch shake. <laughs> you are from chat, you, you beast. I had no faith in Felpip, I'm sorry for my foolishness, another voice echoes. 
That's amazing. Putting all my money on my boy Jean-Claude. I would kill for Jean-Claude. Another voice echoes. The Loxodon known as Babar is my choice. I saw the hunger in him when I denied him his mortal wish four oh, years ago. Mother Babar is just built different. Remember, none of us are to interfere. Our covenant prevents us from doing so, says another voice. I love all of this. This was actually exciting. The v all bets have been placed, a final voice speaks. The competitors will now rest and preparations are already underway. We hope you have enjoyed this first phase of the game. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. Oh,